Uh, hello guys, uh, welcome to Nemtech channel. My name is Nehemiah and uh, today guys uh, we are going to design a photography website from scratch to its completion step by step. And uh, this is the website that uh, we are going to design me and you. And uh, guys you can see it has you now very very beautiful, uh, you know, navigation section, very very beautiful. It has very very smooth uh, hover effect. And then I guess you can see when I scroll up the color changes to a uh, black. So I uh, just used, you know, a very very a beautiful JavaScript style in here and then you have some text here and then you can see I have a background image here very very beautiful and then I guess you can see I have the Karazo section here so it's just you no know, perfect and then at the bottom here guess I you can see guys I have the uh, graduation photos and so guys I did the live streaming page and I guess you can see it is very very uh, awesome here guys it's just you no know, very very beautiful and then uh, it has you no know, very beautiful uh, hover effect so I guess you can see when uh, you place a mouse on it, cast on it, guys, it changes to another display. Very, very beautiful. And then I have the you know, Karazu section here. And then I guess you have the About section. It is also functioning. And then uh, when you click on it, guys, it's going to take you to this About section. So very, very perfect. Then uh, the slider here. And then I uh, guess also we have the Contact section. And then uh, in the Contact section, guys, you can see uh, we have the a very very beautiful first of all you have the button here when you have on it guys you can see it, it changes to another display and then you have the uh, uh, contact section guys you have the address you have the uh, the location address you have the email address the number and then i uh, guess you have the on your right you have the uh this what this is the google form and then you have the uh form form section so guys, uh, uh, also this website is responsive on smaller device, smaller devices. So let me just uh, right click and then uh, inspect. And then uh, guys, you can see this the uh, this page on the smaller screens. So guys, uh, first of all, we have this uh, section. You can open and close. So for example, we are in the home section and you click on it, guys, going to open the home section. And then I uh, guess you can see it is you know very very uh, very perfect. On uh, smaller screen guys it's displaying now uh, in a single color. So I guess this is just you know very very perfect. And then I uh, guess I, uh, so guys this website is also responsive on smaller devices. Also there are two other pages too. But I uh, guess uh, this is the website that we are going to design me and you step by step. In the place I had you uh, if it's your first time to I get into this channel please take a second or two click the subscribe button and also like uh, the video I appreciate it very very much that is to support this channel and so guys uh, with that much ado uh, let's get started and so now uh, the requirements that you need to have in this project so that we may go together with you you need to have you know a text editor for coding uh, you can use any text editor like a sublime text, you can use a visual studio code, you can use bracket, you can use adobe dreamweaver, you can use atom or whichever text editor you have and then uh, you need also to have a, a browser to execute your codes like uh, you know google com you can use a you know a mechanism microsoft edge, you can use a opera, you can use firefox or whichever text editor you have and then also you need to have some images on your device so that uh, you may not you know have to struggle to get them and then also you need to have uh, an, an internet access and so guys uh, without much ado let's open our file explorer so that we may place our project in a certain folder so guys uh, we are going to place our project in this second partition named media and then i'm going to place it at the cheat sheet sorry at the cheat sheet and then at the project and then i'm going to create a new folder and then i'm going to give it a name like uh, photography Photography uh, demo website. Photography demo website, and then I guess I'm going to place uh, some images in this same folder. So my images are in this download folder, and then you can see here are the assets. Inside it, inside it you have some images. So we have the banner image, and then we have also these other images too. Uh, so what I'm going to do now is to copy. I can copy or uh, I can move these images in the same you know directory so that you will not have issues while coding so i'm going to move them uh, to the same directory which is a photography demo website and then i'm going to move it there 
And so guys, uh, once it's there, now let's close this window. And then uh, let's open our text editor, guys. And then I'm going to open file. And then I'm going to open what? Uh, this, you know, a folder. And then it is uh, the media. And then uh, here it is uh, the cheat sheet, projects. And then our uh, photography demo website. And then select the folder. You can uh, click. Uh, you can uh, delete these instructions here. And so, guys, uh, I want us to create uh, two two files here. <coughs> one for HTML and then the other one for uh, CSS. So now we are going to begin with the HTML. So for HTML, you can give it a name like index.html. Remember the key thing is this extension .html. And then also we are going to create the file for CSS. So uh, for CSS, you can give it a name like a space dot uh, css remember the key thing is the extension dot css and then now guys uh, let me minimize this uh, window these are uh, you know uh, this section here and then uh, guys to my html if you're using uh, visual studio code you can just write uh, exclamation mark or if you're using the sublime text you can just write html and then you click tab or you can click enter then it will give you the structures of uh, you know the snippets for html you know structures and then now guys and the heading i'm going to give it any heading like let me uh, actually the title i'm going to give it any title like uh, let me say uh name uh name uh, name le let me say name media you can give it any name like in, but for me i'm just using for the sake of tutorial and then uh it, this, uh, this is our title and then uh, now guys so we need to link our css to this html now to link it you are going to use the link uh you know link tab with, with some attributes there so the good news with the visual studio code like when you just write to link it will give you the entire you know code for uh linking your external size, size sheet here so like uh when uh, when i just write link and then you click enter then it will just complete for you but now i, I want to link it here now it's styles the name is, you ensure that you write the exact name styles the css and then uh, now let's save and then i guess uh, let's you know uh in this uh css case remember that uh, most browsers usually have their default styling so now i want to change everything so that we have you know just in unique styling so that nothing may interfere with us so we are going to use this term uh, for global styling then uh, we are going to open the curly brackets the curly braces and then i uh, guess we are going to begin with the margin Imagine I'm going to give it zero. Imagine I'm going to give it zero. And then a padding. Padding I'm going to give it also zero. <coughs> uh, then the other properties box sizing. A box uh, you know sizing. I'm going to give it a border box. And then uh, the other thing that I'm going to give it here is uh, you know text decoration. Text decoration. I'm going to give it uh, you know uh, none. And then uh, what is and then uh, the other property that we are going to add here is the list type so that we may not have bullets while using the you know those are list so i'm going to type here uh, li uh actually is it list a uh, list style i'm going to give it uh mm -hmm, mm -hmm. i'm going to give it none i'm going to give it none and so guys uh, now let's say first of all and then uh, the other thing that we need to link here in this css we need to have some fonts you know for our project so now for the fonts, guys, I'm going to, uh, we, I want us to go to the, uh, for the uh, to the actual the fonts page, uh, to the fonts, Google fonts page, and then, you know, uh, import some fonts there, and then add to this uh, CSS. So guys, what I'm going to do, let me open my browser, and then, uh, and then uh, in the search bar, just type uh, fonts, uh, fonts.google.com, dot .google .com, actually dot fonts actually fonts should be fonts fonts that google.com and then i'm uh, using this first link just click on it and then uh, let's go to the fonts page here and then we are going to design the fonts that you are going to use uh for me i'm going to go with the you know uh, i'm going to go with the these fonts called ubuntu so just click on it you can select whichever you want select that one and uh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. select that one and then i select this one i'm selecting this one also and then also 
Mm, I want to use two type of fonts here. So I'm going to do the other one uh, called. Uh, I'm going to choose another one here. This one. I'm going to choose uh, this uh, play uh, display. So I'm going to click on it, and then I'm going to select the font that I want. I'm going to select this one. I'm going to select this one. I'm going to select this one, and uh, and uh, finally this one or this one actually yeah. And then now guys, uh, what we are going to do, and uh, now click on the import. You can use the link, but uh, for me I like using the import uh, section here. Just click on the import, and then uh, now copy this line. Uh, copy this part, and then uh, uh, just copy. Control plus C is to copy. And then I go to your text editor now. To the CSS at the top here, and just paste it there. And then now guys, uh, what you do? Uh, what you do now is just save it. And then now we are ready for the project. So now let's go to our HTML. Now to this HTML, uh, the body, uh, I'm going to create a comment first of all for navigation uh, section. And then I'm going to say here uh, navigation, navigation uh, section, navigation section. And then uh, in this navigation section, guys, I'm going to use uh, uh, what? I'm going to use a uh, navbar as a class so that navbar navbar and then th this is the main class and then also I'm going to give it a uh, you know a uh, max width as a property uh, you know as a class again dot max width dot max uh, width this is like uh, my container so max max width I like using this uh, uh you know style max width you can give it any and then uh, inside the it i'm going to give it also a logo I, I want to use a logo here so that a uh, logo so this is the class and then uh what i do uh inside this logo uh, inside this logo i'm going to also add an anchor tag here so i'm going to use an anchor tag an anchor tag and then uh, here i'm going of course i'm going to give it a hash which i'll add you know uh Valid URL later, but now here in this anchor tag, I'm going to use a span so just like a span, and then uh, inside this span, I'm going to say what I'm going to add you know the li. Uh, before anything, here let me add also, let me add also you know uh, an icon for camera because this is a, is a photography website. So I'm going to use a, an eye. Remember, you know, these fonts. But uh, before anything, guys, uh, let's link our our foundation page to this, you know, uh, uh, st project of ours. So now to get the foundation, you know, site kit, you are going to the uh, Google Chrome or to whichever browser you're using, and then now uh, here you're going to write to the search word font uh, foundation foundation dot com, and then now uh, guys, uh, once it's open, uh, I'm going to the site kit. Remember, if you don't uh, have an account with them, you can just create. They will give you the site kit. But for me, I already have an account with them, so I'm going to the kit section. And then now uh, to the kit section, guys, I'm going to click on this one. And then now, uh, guys, I'm going to copy uh, my site kit here. So just uh, copy the kit code. And then now, uh, guys, I can, uh, before anything, uh, let me link first of all this part. So I'm going to link it here. You can link it uh, anywhere. Let me link it there. Just paste it there. And then I uh, do what? Let's save. So now, for example, if you want uh, an icon for camera, you can just uh, go to the icon section here and search what, search, uh, you know, uh, camera icon. So, for example, I'm going to search a uh, camera, so let me say camera, then you click enter, and then uh, it will give you the, uh, the kind of cameras that you want. I can, uh, I'm going with this one. Uh, so they will give you the, you know, uh, the code for this uh, icon. And so guys, uh, for me, I've already, you know, uh, crammed the code. So I'm going to my text editor, guys. And then uh, I'm going to say what? I'm going to write here the icon, you know, code. So I'm going to write here uh, i dot uh, fa. And now it has to, it has two classes, dot uh, fa. Then I'm going to say what? Camera. And then I click enter. And then now in this pan, I'm going to say what? I'm going to say... Uh, name block name actually this is name uh, name media name media you can give it any name 
And so guys, first of all, let's save and see if it's available on our, if it's available on our, on our you know, browser. So you can uh, right click and open in the live server. Remember, if, if you don't have a live server, you can just go to this extension here. And then I uh, write to add live server as just, you just write live server. Uh, live server. Uh, if you don't have the live server, it will give you the button to install it. So you're going to install the live server. And so once you've installed, then right click and then I uh, open it live server. And so guys, uh, you can see that uh, we have the logo here at the you know top left here. Uh, it's very very good. We are go we, we will style it and uh, become you know very very professional as we, as we go on. So what I'm going to do, guys, now let's uh, let's also add the li list, you know the list now itself. So I'm going to create the uh, the ul. So first of all, let me see where does this code end. So let me just uh, go at the end of this div for logo. Then I'm going to create also another class here. Uh, so let me just uh, say ul dot uh, menu menu items now. And then uh, in this menu items, I'm going to use the li now for list. So I'm going to write li, and then uh, in the li, I'm going to use the anchor tag. So uh, let me just write an anchor tag. First of all, let's give it a hash. And then uh, inside this, between these two uh, tags, I'm going to say, first of all, we begin with the home. Uh, home. And then uh, what I do, guys, uh, let me just uh, duplicate this section uh, several times. Just shift, alt, and then that key. And then uh, let me make like five. <coughs> and then uh, in this second one, I'm going to give it, uh, for example, gallery. 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 And then uh, here I'm going to give it uh, live streaming. So I'm just say live, live coverage. And then uh, here I'm going to say what? Uh, here I'm going to. So or, uh, let me say, let me say live streaming. Live, live streaming, live streaming. And then uh, here let me say what? Uh, let me say uh, about, about then finally what? Conduct. Conduct, conduct, conductors. So what I'm going to do, guys? Uh, let me just, uh, you know, let me save, let me save, and then I see in my browser. And so, guys, uh, you can see I have these uh, uh, items here. So now, what I'm going to do now? Uh, let's, you know, style it further, guys. So now, let's go to our text editor, but specifically on uh, CSS. So now, uh, first of all, let's create a comment for our styling. So this is the home section. Oh, I forgot to add our oh, see this is the navigation section. So let me say navigation section. So let me write a comment. Remember in whichever language you use to write a comment, just uh, control plus the forward slash. And then uh, here I'm going to say what I'm going to say uh, navigation. Navigation styling. You can give it in comment styling. And so guys, uh, the first thing that we're going to begin with, with is the navbar. Remember navbar is the main class here. So what I do, let me just uh, copy this part, dot navbar. Let me just uh, copy dot navbar. And then uh, to my CSS now, guys, uh, this is the main selector. So remember as a class, so we use a, a dot, a dot to define what? A uh, descendant selector for div. And then uh, guys, uh, what I'm going to do, uh, let me just say position. And position I'm going to give it fixed position I'm going to fix to give it fixed and then what else I'm going to uh, I'm going to give it a width of I'm going to give it a width of 100 percent a 100 percent and then now uh, what else I'm going to give it a background background of black background of uh, black a uh, black actually let me use this color code Remember, you can use color value or you can use a color name. Or you can as well use the RGB values, you can use the hexadecimal values. But for me, I always like using these color codes, using these kind of color codes. And so there's uh, the other property that we are going to add here is the font family. And then I'm going to use this one. Remember, you select the font family that uh, you pasted from the Google Fonts. So I'm going to use this Ubuntu, uh, you know, as the, uh, as the font family. And then uh, also I'm going to give it a, a you know a padding. Remember, I always tell you that a padding the space you know inside an element between inside an element, you know in the borders of an element, but inside. 
uh, and then I imagine it's outside, you know, the borders of an element. And then uh, for padding, I'm going to say what I'm going to give it a uh, 15 uh, pixel, P 15 pixel that is top and bottom. And then I'm going to give it zero left and right. The background, the background, I gave it white instead of black. So the bl the background should be this one. It should be. Let me give it three to be uh, you know this kind of black. I forgot to uh, and I chose white. I want to use this one, but now I want us to target to change the color for the text. So now what I'm going to do now is to copy the you know the main class, uh, the main class, and then I uh, do what and then I uh, press it down here, and then press it, press it down there. Now targeting the menu, but uh, what I'm targeting actually the anger tag, but uh, the anger tag in C is inside the li, the list. Now uh, I'm targeting the anger tag. So now what I'm going to give it, uh, I'm going to give it a color of a uh, color. I'm going to give it a uh, white. A white. Remember is, is you can use a color name or you can use color value. So what, what I'm going to do? Let me use the color value. But then you can use the, as well as the variable. So CSS variable, they are you know helpful uh, for you not to repeat the same things. But uh, you know, for the sake of tutorial, guys, I don't want to go there. And then uh, let me say font, uh, font what, font uh, size. I'm going to give it uh, 18 pixel, 18 pixel. And then also I'm going to give it uh, you know na uh, font weight. Remember the font weight is the you know uh, the boldness of our text. And so guys, I remember that a font weight is the you know boldness of a text. So like uh, if you give it 700, that is bold. Uh, if you give it something like a 500, that is you know a medium, 400, uh, regular, and uh, so forth. So it goes in that range. So now when I give it something like uh, let me give it even uh, let me give it 600, that is semi bold. 600, right? Let me say 600. Uh, that is semi bold. And then uh, also I'm going to uh, give it a margin, margin left of what? So margin, margin left so that we may have some space uh, inside the, between the ma uh, the margin, the edges of the, in the left hand side. So I'm going to give it um, uh, 25 pixels, 25 pixels to have some you know spaces in the left hand side. So let me say first of all, and then uh, guys you can see. That we have at least some space in the between the left hand side, so we are going to start it further and until it becomes you know perfect. Also, let's target this icon here, the uh, the logo, the logo here. So now what I'm going to do uh, to my text editor this. Now let me just uh, copy this uh, line. Let me just uh, copy it, and then I press down it down down here. But now I'm, tar I'm targeting you know, what I'm targeting you know, the logo. So uh, it is, you know, uh, it is logo, 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 but now targeting the anger tag. So what I do now, uh, the first property I'm going to increase the font size. So font size, uh, let me give it a, a very larger, even uh, 30, that what, 35, let me give it that 5 pixel, uh, that 5 pixel, and then uh, what else, I'm going to give it a font width. A font, font weight, a font weight of uh, hmm, let me give it a uh, 600. But then let me reduce this one to 500. Let me give it 500, and then uh, this one 600. And then uh, what else? I'm going to give it a uh, uh, color. Uh, you can see that that the colors, you know, purple. Some of purple is not good much in the background. So color, I'm going to give it white. I'm going to use this color code, and then uh, let me save. And then I see some changes in the browser, and then I guess you can tell that is it is perfect, very very perfect. So now what I'm going to do now the next thing is to target what the list uh, to change the display. So now I'm beginning with the uh, the you know the li. So let me just uh, copy, uh, copy this part, and then I press press it there, and then I want to change the display of the list, you know, the menu item there. So open and close the color brackets and then I'm going to give it the remember the list style we gave it none. So the good news that uh, when you're writing this global styling do, you don't repeat it again. 
So what I'm going to say here, I'm going to change the display. So display, display, I'm going to give it to that inline block so that it may go horizontal inline block. So let me save and then I'll do it. Uh, you can see guys, it is arranged in a, in a horizontal format, a, a horizontal format. So now uh, what I'm going to do now again is to change the entire, you know, the display, you know, the display of this, you know, this stuff, entire stuff, you know. Uh, so what I'm going to do now guys uh, is to, uh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. it's not to target the, the entire class, remember it is in a class with, this is the main container, max width. By the way, let me just uh, copy this section. Let me copy this section and then I uh, do it. Uh, hmm. Let me let me just uh, duplicate it and then, uh, guys, I'm going to change here too. Uh, I'm going I'm going to give it a uh, you know max width. Or what I do is uh, the simplest way to do so that it may affect all other max width that we'll be using. Let me just use the same property here. But now here you begin with that. Don't remember is a uh, is a descendant selector so and then now uh, we what i'm going to do now here is to uh, change the display so the display for the entire you know container so the display i'm going to give it flex flex so that it may go in a in a flex you know in a horizontal in a it to be arranged in a single line and then uh, align items align items i'm going to make it at the center and then now uh, what is i'm going to say i'm going to justify content so what i'm going to say not to really send that i'm going to say a uh, space between so that we have you know some space between the logo and then also the uh the many items and so guys uh, there you can see it, it is somehow you know good but i guess we need to add you know some margins at the left hand side and also at the right hand side so in the same uh, you know a uh, selector the max the uh, max width here I'm going to add also another styling here for uh, padding. So padding, I'm going to give it a uh, zero that zero that is top and bottom. But now left and right, I'm going to give it what? I'm going to give it a 100 uh, pixel pixel. And then uh, let me save. And then I uh, guess I see some changes now uh, at the browser. And then I uh, guess you can see this, you know, somehow perfect, good. And so guys, uh, I want us to style these sections further so that I uh, may change it the color for. Uh, the icon the logo here and also for this icon so what i'm going to do guys now is to uh to go to my text editor guys and then i'll target in the logo section here and then now uh, mm -hmm. let me copy now the class for logo actually with the logo so it is logo and then i'm going to target with the i'm going to begin the item here so what i'm going to do now let me just uh, copy this uh this section and then uh, let me copy this section and then I uh, press it down here and so okay so I'm going to begin with the what I'm going to begin with this one with the uh, you know I'm going to begin with the eye tag for you know icon so I'm going to begin with the eye and then uh, open and close the curly bracket and then I'm going to say what I'm going to say here. I'm going to give it a color so color I'm going to give it you know let me give it a uh, blue or uh, yeah let me give it blue and then uh, let me just uh, duplicate this section and then uh, make it for a span remember we have a span tag here for this uh, media so this one i'm going to give it a uh, uh, red so span and then uh, here the color i'm going to change it to red let me give it red red then uh, let me save and uh, and then I uh, see uh, the changes here and then I uh, guess you can see it is you know uh, it's not perfect so the color blue is not you know perfect for you know depending for the background so what I'm going to change let me give it any color like let me give it even pink hot pink let me try hot pink and see if it will work so let me save and then uh, see and then um, mm -hmm. have I saved so this span span uh, span is okay or uh, let me give this one for uh, for the item let me give it now 
uh, red red let me give it red and then uh, let me save and then uh, uh -huh. and then i uh, guess you can see this you know very very beautiful so guys uh, what i'm going to do next is to add the hover effects on these icons so what i'm going to do now is to uh is to change the uh, the you know they are to make uh the hover effects so let me just uh, copy this class a desire selector and then i'm going to uh, you know paste it down here but now tag it in when you have on it so uh let me say you have one and then i open and close the curly bracket and then i'm going to give it uh you know uh let me font size uh, remember the initial size was uh the initial size was you know uh 18 18 so i'm going to give it 20. so font size font size when you have i'm going to give it uh 20 20 pixel and then i'm going also to change the color so color color i'm going to give it a uh, white or let me uh hmm, let me give it a uh, which color which color which color let me give it uh even green let me give it green when you have a uh, when you have a uh, and then uh let me save and then uh what is in this i tag the you know the list the list items so what i'm going to do now is to uh let me just uh, duplicate this section and then i'm going to say what i'm going to say uh when you have uh, so uh, let me just say you have uh, and then i'm going to give it uh, which color let me give it so let me remove this property here this declaration and then i'm going to say what i'm going to say uh uh color color i'm going to use the green itself the green 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 color uh, so i'm going to use the green color but i uh, guess i want to add you know some transition i like using this transition so transition i'm going to give it all uh zero zero point three second second is is also to the to this one where 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 here so instead of 20 it should be you know i want to make it larger so let me give it even something like a 40 not 20 i forgot to so let me give it even 40 uh 40 and then a uh, transition transition here i'm going to give it what i'm going to give it a uh, transition i'm going to give it a uh, transition i'm going to give it the same way a uh, transition i'm going to give it what i'm going to give it a uh, all uh, all uh, 0 0.3 second uh, 0 0.3 second is is and then uh, let me do it let me save uh, have I stayed there mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so what I'm going to do let me save and then I uh, see some changes in the browser guys and so guys you can see it is very very pleasing so now I want us to you know style also this section. These are uh, menu item menu icons uh, items here. So what I'm going to do now guys uh, let me go to uh to where to the uh, item this uh, navigation uh, list items here. So now I'm going to add when you have uh, so let, let me just uh, or uh, yeah let me just uh, copy this part. Let me just uh, copy it and then uh, I do it uh, paste it down here. So let me just paste it there. But now target it when you do what when you have when you have then I'm going to give it what I'm going to give it a uh, color. Color I'm going to give it uh, mm -hmm. let me give it green. Green and then uh, perhaps increase the font size. I'm going to increase the font size to twenty. Uh, so font size you, you, you begin in the property. Uh, font size I'm going to give it uh, twenty. Uh, 20 pixels 20 pixels and uh, at least let's add in you know, some trans tra transition for it so transition transition i'm going to give it uh, all uh, 0 0.3 seconds uh, is is and then uh, let me save and see some changes guys and uh, when you have a uh, guys you can see this you know very very beautiful so what I'm going to do is uh, let me uh, add a uh, uh, you know a background image here for this edit section, this uh, home section. So what I'm going to do is uh, let me go to my text editor. 
and then I'll first of all to, to the HTML and then at the end of this div I'm going to do it I'm going to create you know a section here before anything let me add a comment and then I'm going to say home uh, home uh, you know section let me say home section home section and then I want to use this section so let me say the section uh, actual section section tag I'm going to use section tag and then uh, I'm going to add a class which is home which is home then uh, let me click enter and then uh, inside it I'm going to use the same you know uh, class which is max width max width max width let, let me be sure that uh, the class resemble this one so max width yeah then I click enter and then uh, inside this max width uh, I'm going to add what I'm going to let me say let me add also another what let me add also another <coughs> another uh, you know container here for home content let me say home uh, home content home content and then I say uh, title uh, you know text let me say just text then I click enter and then the text I'm going to say what I'm going to say uh, the text one a uh, subclass here the text one uh, let me say the text one then I click enter and then uh, in the text one let me say meet so let me say uh, meet meet uh, then uh, let me just uh, duplicate this section shift out then down key uh, perhaps twice and then uh, here I'm going to say uh, I'm going to change it to text to uh, text to two. here I'm going to change it to text uh, three and then uh, here <coughs> Here I'm going to say professional, uh, professional. What was the correct spelling for professional? So professional, uh, for professional. Then uh, here I'm going to say photographers, uh, photographers, photographers, photographers. Okay, so now let's go to our CSS and then add the background for it. So first of all, let's create a comment. To create a comment, you know, is this just uh, to create a comment? Is just a uh, control plus the forward slash or a command plus, you know, the forward slash. And then uh, here I'm going to say what uh, I'm going to say home uh, styling. I'm going to say uh, home styling, and then uh, in the home styling case, I'm going to say what I'm going to. Uh, let me begin with what. Remember the main class here is home, so let me begin with this dot home dot home uh, dot home, and then uh, I'm going to say what I'm going to open and close the color bracket, and then uh, the first property I'm going to say display to be what flex as usual, and then uh, also I'm going to say uh, I'm going to add a background image, so I'm going to use the background property, but now using the you know. Uh, the linear gradient linear gradient and then I'm going to use two color codes here and then uh, let me say RGB I'm going to use uh, RGB of uh, colors so RGBA and then I open and close the normal brackets and then I'm going to use uh, which which is blue I want to use a blue color so blue is uh, R uh, actually Okay, let me give it zero. This uh, blue, a uh, zero, and then a uh, green also zero. But a uh, blue, I'm going to give it what? I'm going to give it um, two fifty six, two fifty six, and then uh, opacity, and then opacity. I'm going to give it zero point five, zero point five, and then I guess what I'm going to do now is to copy this section. Let me just uh, copy, and then uh, here you add a comma, and then I do it just a uh, paste there. At the end of this uh, bracket, then I'm going to add you know URL, <coughs> and then uh, in this URL, guys, I'm going to specify the folder for my image, which is assets, and then a uh, forward slash, and then I'm going to use uh, the banner dot jpg, and then also I'm going to add this uh, value here. Uh, let me add this value, the no repeat value. No, uh, no repeat. Uh, then uh, sender. Uh, no repeat sender. 
and then uh, what else uh, I'm going to say what I'm going to add also another property here which is uh, height height I'm going to use uh, 100 uh, viewport height 100 VH and then uh, I'm going to also add uh, the mean height mean height I'm going to give it sorry 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 so for me height I'm going to give it what I'm going to give it a 500 pixel minimum height 500 pixel and then uh, the font family let me give it what and then uh, for font family I'm going to give it this one uh, this one uh, and uh, after this property guys I'm going to also add another property here so uh, this is you know uh, background background size background size I'm going to give it cover and so guys, uh, what I'm going to do, let me save and then I'll uh, see some changes in the browser. And so guys, uh, the next thing now is to style this, uh, this text here. You can see it is not, you know, good. It's not uh, perfect. I need to place it somewhere here, uh, at the bottom here. So guys, uh, without wasting a lot of time, guys, uh, let's begin uh, styling the, you know, this section. So remember, it is in this, uh, let me copy this part. This, uh, this class, which is home content. I want to, uh, to say it, you know, at once. So in this uh, home content, let me just paste it there. First of all, begin the home with the main class, which is home. It's not a must, but uh, I always prefer it so that it may not affect the other home content, the uh, other section that we'll be using. So I uh, open and close the color bracket. And then our font size, font size, I'm going to give it uh, something like, uh, let me just say, <coughs> A 50 pixel and then uh, I'm going to also add a, a, a property here so let me add a padding padding top padding top I'm going to give it you know uh, 300 pixel at uh, 300 pixel what else I'm going to so first of all let me see if I can see some changes guys and then uh, oh I need to change the color so what I'm going to do is to change the color so color I'm going to give it white. So color I'm going to give it um, white. And then uh, let me save and see some changes. And then uh, guys, you can see it, it is somewhere you know pleasing. So what else I'm going to do? So I'm go let me add also some you know. I like using the you know the the you know the shadows, the shadow you know, the blindness you know the background. So what I'm going to do now, let me use a text shadow here. So let me use a text shadow. Uh, you can use or you can just leave. It is just my preference. And then uh, for the text shadow, I'm going to give it a hot pink. Hot pink. Then I'm going to give it what? I'm going to give it a 3 pixel. The size 3 pixel. The distance then a 3 uh, pixel. Then, you know, the, the blurriness. 3 pixel, the blurriness. And then uh, let me say, and then I see some changes, guys. And then I uh, can see it is, you know, very, very uh, perfect, very, very, very pleasing. And so, guys, uh, I want us to at least make this text uh, uh, go down here. At least, you know, some to go down here so that it may not, you know, be close to the camera. So what I'm going to do now, let me just increase the padding top here. But also even this text, let me, uh, I'm going to change the, the, the color here and everything. So now what I'm going to do uh, is to change the, let me just uh, make it uh, 350 or uh, 360, 360, let me use 360, and then uh, let me save. And then uh, here I saw that in this logo, in the logo section here that uh, this color is not, you know, perfect. So the color I'm just going to leave it, uh, let me just uh, give it just a uh, color, so color I'm going to give it white. Color, let me just uh, give it la la white, but uh, I want to add also uh, the text shadow for it. So for text shadow is when I'm going to give it the hot pink. So uh, text shadow, I'm going to give it a, I'm going to give it a hot pink, hot pink. Then I'm going to give it a, perhaps let me give it a, you know, a three pixel, a three pixel, also three uh, pixel. Then I uh, let me save, and then uh, to my browser, guys, uh, let me see, and then I uh, can see it is, you know, very very pleasing. Uh, the text here are, uh, you know, somehow perfect. 
but uh, let me try also 70 30 70 also to see if it will go down a bit so let me try 70 here so, uh, let me say try 38 or 38 let me say 38 and then uh, let me save and then uh, you know see some changes and then I uh, guess I think at uh, this place it is uh, perfect for me now now guys I want to add you know some small javascript such a way that uh, this background is only visible when you scrolled down to other section down here so I uh, guess what I'm going to do now uh, let's first of all let me create some space down here so let me go to my HTML uh, to my HTML and then uh, let me add here uh, a div I remove later so let me just create a div but I remove later, later let me use an inline CSS and then uh, let me say sorry so let me just say uh, style I'm using an, an inline CSS here and then I'm going to say uh, uh, you know margin margin top actually margin top and then I'm going to give it what I'm going to give it to perhaps even 500 uh, pixels then uh, let me save and see uh, if I have some space in the bottom at the bottom <coughs> and so guys uh, you can see at least I have some space down here so I can you know have some space to uh, to design to style this section here so I want uh, in such a way that when I scroll like this this when this uh, background is visible but now when I'm in the home section I want to remove this you know background so to do that I'm going to use a small javascript here so let's open a javascript you know um, so let me open another tab and then I add uh, just such code, just such code dot uh, go code dot jQuery dot com. And so guys, uh, in this uh, jQuery CDN part, just uh, copy this uh, minify this this section here. Just copy it, and then uh, just uh, copy this part. Just copy this section here. Uh, just uh, copy that part. And then uh, to your head to your text editor now guys uh, uh, where here the head section I'm going to do it I'm going to add also another this uh, style in here so first of all let me create a script tag and then uh, inside this script in the first tag I'm going to paste paste the, the link there so uh, now once you've pasted guys I want to create uh, an external JavaScript here and this time you're going to use the external JavaScript so uh, what I do, go to your to this uh, Explorer extension here, and then uh, add also another file here for JavaScript. So for JavaScript, we're going to say what I'm going to say. Um, hmm, let me say. Uh, let me say scripts. Scripts. Uh, script. Or let me just say uh, main. Main. Uh, dot. Js. So remember the key thing is the extension. Dot. Js. And then I just click in that and then uh, first of all let me minimize this section so that you can see very well and then uh, in the I want us to link the this external JavaScript to link it I'm going to the uh, to this below just at the bottom here just uh, below the closing tab of the body here you ensure that you are at the bottom here then I'm going to write the script tag with a c r c and then here I'm going to write now the name uh, main dot js main dot js now to link it and then I guess I want to have linked it now um, I want to remove first of all this uh, background here for uh, for you know uh, I want to remove this background for uh, the uh, for our art for our page so let, let me say for this navigation section and then uh, first of all let me clear this section and then I guess I want to remove this section in such a way that it is visible only when I scroll downwards. So now I want to style it with the JavaScript. So guys, uh, let me go to the, this uh, JavaScript. And so guys, uh, in this JavaScript now, the first statement, guys, I'm going to begin with the uh, with this uh, dollar sign, and then I uh, open and close the you know the normal bracket, the parentheses, then the write document. This is the code to execute our 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 JavaScript in our browser. Then uh, here, let me say, just say the trading, uh, the trading, uh, the trading, and then uh, uh, open and close what uh, the bracket, the bracket, and then uh, uh, just write again function, a uh, function. Then uh, with this, uh, you know, uh, the bracket, the parenthesis, uh, the bracket again, 
and then uh, guys, I'm going to say that I'm going to open and close the curly bracket just before the closing tag of this uh, what parenthesis. Then I uh, open and close, and then uh, here the first statement is going to be what. So let me say uh, open first of all. Uh, actually, here you begin with the dollar sign. So let me just write a dollar sign. Then uh, do what. Uh, open and close the curly uh, the the brackets, and then I'm going to say window. Here I'm going to say window. Here I'm going to say window, and then uh, here I'm going to say what dot uh, scroll. I want to add in, uh, some scroll effects, and then uh, you know uh, also create uh, the you know the par the bracket the parentheses, and then uh, again write a function function, and then I'm going to say what I'm going to open again the uh, bracket, and then uh, before the this closing tag is I'm going to. Uh, before this closing tag here, I'm going to also create the parenthesis uh, the, the curly bracket, and then I have to add here the if condition. So if uh, if uh, and then I'm going to say that again I open the uh, you know the 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 brackets, and then uh, so let me say this uh, this dot uh, scroll this dot scroll y scroll y in the y axis. Uh, if it's greater than 20, 20, let me say 20, and then uh, here I'm going to say what uh, open again the bracket here, uh, the curly bracket, and then I'm going to say uh, beginning the dollar sign now, and then uh, let me say uh, open again the curly bracket, and then uh, inside it I'm going to use the single quotation mark, then I'm going to say that uh, number, the number, the class, the class name uh, that I'm targeting. And uh, what dot uh, let me say add class add class we're going to add a class is there add class and then I uh, open and close the curly bracket and then I'm going to use the sticky I'm going to use to add a class as sticky sticky so let me say sticky so let, by the way before I continue guys okay, so let me just add it in our CSS so that I may not forget so now here then I just after this location bar I'm going to create also the the number but now add a class which is that sticky uh, sticky but uh, I've just added then uh, I'm going to, to add you know a background for it so background background I'm going to give it uh, <coughs> background color I'm going to give it it was black so let me just give it you know so this is the color that I've just removed initially so let me just give it or uh, let me give it black dark dark black and then I remove this section here completely and then uh, also let me do it let me you know add a padding for it so padding I'm going to give it padding I'm going to give it uh, you know 15 pixel a uh, 15 pixel that is top and bottom and then a zero zero that is left and right so now once you have added that class so let's continue here first of all you close the statement with what with a semicolon and then uh, <coughs> what you do guys uh, uh, also let me create an else statement here so else so let me say else and then uh, open and close so at uh, the curly bracket and then I guess I'm going to copy the same class here and so let me just uh, copy this uh, the actual this statement then I uh, press it down here but now let me say uh, else remove else remove Else uh, remove. Else uh, remove, remove here. Yeah. <coughs> remove this class. Then I just uh, click save. Uh, the control plus S is to save. And then uh, let's open our browser guys and see. I need to, you know, to add also the another background color for this uh, what navigation section before you uh, scroll up so that it may be perfect. Like now it's just looking awkward. So let me think of a color. Let me go to my text editor guess and then at the nav, nav bar here. I'm going to add also a background. So background color. Background color I'm going to choose any. Let me just uh, uh do it. Let me try what let me try blue a little much in the background. Let me try blue. Uh sorry. So let me try blue guys. Is there a color called dark blue? Oh, let me try dark blue. So let me save. 
and then out my browser let me see some changes uh, if it is, is perfect and so guys you can see this this one is perfect for me very very awesome and so guys uh, uh, you can see the display on the larger screen is very very awesome but uh, when you go to the smaller screen it's just awkward so let's try and see and then I uh, guess you can see it's not you know pleasing at all it's not you know a uh, professional so I want us to go to the media query and then I tell it further so uh, first of all to our HTML guys uh, in this uh, just at, at the end of this uh, UL I'm going to add here uh, first of all let me create a class so let me say uh, let me give it any name like uh, let me give it this class so uh -huh. let me say menu menu actually beginning that dot to the to specify a class so dot menu uh, btn menu btn and then uh, inside it again i'm going to use uh, the the uh, the bars here so you can go to the font also and then uh, get the you know uh, the code for the bars but for me you already know so it's just i dot uh, f f uh, dot uh, actually it's it is uh, f a s f a s not f a f a s now dot uh, f a hyphen bars and then it's click enter so now this is the class for bars so first of all let me save and see if it's appearing on uh, our browser first of all let's see guess you can see it's available on the uh, on the browser guess but now i want us to change the size and also the uh the color so now guys uh, what i'm going to do uh let me go to my css and so guys uh, in our css now let me go to the now bar section and then uh, perhaps at the end here so first of all uh, i'm going to begin with the uh, main classes uh what it is number and then uh number and then uh, targeting the uh, menu btn and then uh, FAS, actually the I tag. So what I'm going to do is uh, now, let me just uh, copy this section. Let me just uh, copy, but uh, let me just type, uh, let me see dot now bar, dot now bar, but not targeting dot, uh, dot uh, menu, menu BTN. Uh, let me just uh, copy so that everybody may understand where this, ca this is coming from. Here is the class, so that many btn. <coughs> so let me just replace it there. And then I'll target to not dot uh, fs. And then I'll open and close the curly bracket. And then I'm going to increase the font size. So font size, I'm going to give it uh, what? So font size. Font size, I'm going to give it uh, 30 pixel. And then uh, what else? I'm going to give it a color. So curly. I'm going to give it what I'm going to give it a uh, white. So here's the color white. So let me save and then I see some changes. And so guys, I can see that uh, the size is somehow no good. But I uh, guess I want us to hide in the larger screen and uh, I make it available on the smaller screens. So now, guys, I'm going to uh, at the end here and then I'm going to create a, a comment first of all for media query. So let me see the response. You can give it any name the response. Here. A responsive media query media query a responsive media query and then uh, the first thing that I'm going to begin with is a uh, um, so let me say that uh, actually beginning the art I mean here at media whose screen size is this so use the uh, the normal brackets uh, who's marked with this What's marks with is a uh, what's marks with is uh you know 700 700 i'm going with the 700 700 pixel and then i uh, here open and close the curly bracket and then uh, first of all let me hide this property so let me say dot uh under the art max uh let me say that uh, menu btn and then i'm going to hide it here so let me just say display display should be none 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 let me give it none none so let me save and then i see there's some changes in the browser 
So guys, you can see that, that uh, the display is none on the larger screen, but uh, on smaller screen also, uh, guys, you can see it is not uh, available. You can see that uh, the navigation bar is not uh, visible here, but uh, here is where you, we want us to be. So we are going to the media query whose screen size is less than uh, 700, and then uh, let me just uh, copy this uh, part and then uh, paste it here. Uh, let me just uh, paste it there. Then I uh, hear the display. I'm going to give it what inline block, inline block, inline block, inline block. So let me save and then I uh, see some changes in the browser. And then I uh, guess you can see it is you know available here. But now, guys, I want to remove this part and I want to reduce the uh, this uh, part in here. It's very, very big, it's, it looks awkward. So, what I'm going to do is uh, let me. Uh, go here to my media query and then uh, what let me say dot max width dot max width and then I'm going to change the you know the padding padding I'm going to give it to at zero and zero and that is uh, top and bottom and then uh, let me give it to 50 pixel left and right so let me save and then I'll see some changes so at least guys you can see the space is not you know at that big and then i uh, guess i want us to style this section further so uh let's go to our text editor guys and then now uh, i'm targeting on the menu remember targeting this menu here menu part here so i'm going to say what so let me say dot number dot number target not dot menu dot menu and then I uh, open and close the curly braces and then a uh, position position I'm going to give it a uh, fixed let me give it a fixed and then I uh, do it uh, let me say background let me add a background a background of what I'm going to give it a um, background let me give it black and then uh, what else I'm going to give it a uh, you know a height a height of 100 viewport height vh and then i'm going to give it also a width of what width i'm going to give it 100 percent 100 percent what is i'm going to give it a left property left left property i'm going to give it what actually sorry it should be left i'm going to give it a zero we i shall change later and then uh, i'm going to give it a top property also zero and then uh, let me give it uh, a text align to be say, uh, to be center text align so that uh, the items may be aligned at the center so center and then uh, let me save first of all and then i see some changes in the browser and then i uh, guess you can see this you know uh somehow good so now guys uh, what i'm going to do now to change the display here before I change the display, at least let me create some padding here at the top. So let me say a padding top. A padding, padding top. Padding top, I'm going to give it, uh, let me give it even 8 pixels. Eight, uh, pixel. And then uh, let me save and see. And at least I have some space down up there. And so now what I'm going to do now is to change the display. So let me create also another another part here so let me say dot number <coughs> dot number uh, dot uh, you know menu dot menu but not targeting the li those are uh, list items then I open and close the calibratic bracket and then I'm going to say display display I'm going to give it block so let me save and see uh -huh. and then I guess you can see it is you know uh, displaying in a block format but now I want us to create some margin you know some padding here padding between these uh, items and that uh, and uh, perhaps increase the sizes and so now uh, to do that uh, let's go to our text editor and then uh, we're targeting the anchor tag so uh, let me do this let me just uh, copy this section let me copy this section or uh, let, let me just uh, duplicate it and then uh, oh Not really, it should be twice. Uh, it's twice. But now here I'm going to target what? I'm going to target the the anger tag. 
and then uh, first of all display here is not block I'm going to give it the inline block inline block inline block inline block and then what else I'm going to give it a margin a margin of what a margin of uh, margin I'm going to give it a uh, uh, let me give it 20 pixel top and bottom 20 pixel and then I'm going to give it a zero pixel uh, left and right and then what else I'm going to give it a font size I'm, I want to increase the font size so it was very small so font size I'm going to give it what uh, let me give it 25 or 28 pixel 28 pixel let me save and see some changes and then I guess you can see it is you know somehow good so uh, now let's target now the btn to make it you know uh, visible here <coughs> so uh, what I'm going to do now here so now target in the menu so let me say dot menu menu btn and then I open and close the couple of places and then I'm going to say what <coughs> display display so it should be block display should be block and then now what else I'm going to give it a z index of any higher per value z index I'm going to give it um, something like uh, even uh, any higher value here so let me save and then I see some changes in the browser and then I guess you can see it is you know very very perfect and very good but uh, guys uh, in this section at the top here let me add uh, uh, I forgot to add uh, the z index at the number so z index let me give it z index let me give it 999 but it should not exceed the but the button hit there uh, the navigation bar there so uh, let me save and then uh, what is so guys I want us to add in you know, some uh, function some click function events on this uh, uh, this uh, navigation uh, bar so uh, what I'm going to do now guys let me go uh, let me go to you know my JavaScript let me go to my JavaScript and then now uh, what is <coughs> so uh, inside this JavaScript I'm going to create a comment and uh, perhaps in this comment let me say what let me say uh, navi navigation click functions function this is just a comment the navigation click function <coughs> and then I'm going to say what I'm going to say uh, begin with a dollar sign here and then I do what uh, let me say uh, hmm. let me say let me give it uh, before anything guys uh, let me let me to this CSS and to this CSS guys I'm going to add the another property for you know the active the active item so let me say dot you know number dot dot number dot you know menu dot menu but now the active one so active active that's when it is open so let me say active and then I'll do it uh, open and close the curly brackets and then I'm going to give it to zero so this is zero uh, actually I'm going to give it left property I'm going to give it to zero <coughs> but now uh, uh, the what uh, the here where are we here the left property I'm going to change it to negative 100 negative uh, 100 you know percent so let me save and see in the browser and then yeah guys i wanted to to be so that uh, we may add the click function so that uh, at least and when it is active that's when the it will bring those navigation items so i uh, guess what i'm going to do now next is to to continue with the, this javascript and then uh, here i said that we begin with the dollar sign and then I'm going to say that I'm going to open uh, and close the bracket, the normal bracket. And then I'll uh, uh, mm -hmm. uh, create this two semicolon. Then I'll target in the. Let me do this. Let me just uh, copy the class name. Oh, it is here already. Let me just uh, copy. Uh -huh. And then I'll do it. Paste it there. So that menu BTN. And then now uh, here I'm going to say that I click. 
uh, dot click you know function uh, click and then I'm going to say what I'm going to say uh, huh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. open and close the the bracket and then I'm going to say function <coughs> I want to add a fun uh, function for it so then uh, again open and close the you know the bracket and then I uh, uh, create the characteristics there <coughs> and then I guess I'm going to say what I'm going to say I'm going to create this statement I'm going to say uh, dot and then I create the uh, bracket and then uh, here let me now tag it what <coughs> dot now bar dot now bar dot now bar but the menu now the menu the, the you know the descendant selector so now what I'm going to do now ne next is to add another that let me say the trade uh, actually it should not be ready here I'm going to give it a click function so let me say click uh, let me say what let me say uh, no I'm going to say toggle toggle say so let me say toggle class toggle class and then I'm going to say what uh, okay so let me create the curly bracket and then I'm going to say what active for active remember we we introduced that uh, uh, active part here yeah, where, where is it uh -huh. here active one so uh, this is what we are targeting so let me say what uh, oh, let me use these two uh, quotation mark and then I say active actually active so this day you know a toggle class and then I guess uh, what I'm going to say now next is to uh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so uh, what I do let me just uh, duplicate this section and then uh, here I'm going to say what I'm going to give it uh, uh, I'm going to change it to menu btn menu uh, btn we are taking the btn and then uh, here it's not a menu, but now target is not the uh, I class. I. I. So what I'm going to do, let me say, and then uh, by the way, guess, uh, let me also add this property in our CSS. So let me say this, let me say what, let me say, um, dot menu, menu btn, and then now uh, what, you know, I, I, uh, and then now, uh, Open and close the curly bracket and then as, let me say active active but after uh, but before this one is before let me use before and then I uh, open and close the curly braces and then I'm going to say what I'm going to say uh, content content I want to add a cross sign here so uh, let me open and close these uh, uh, two quotation marks and then uh, uh, backslash uh, backslash and then I'm going to say what f00 zero zero. Uh, something that I forgot here, here it, should, it shouldn't be a semicolon it should be you know a uh, dot dot not a semicolon also here it should be it should be what it should be a dot so let me save guys and then uh, see in our browser um, so guys uh, let's click on it uh, guys you can see when you click on it it opens this uh, menu icon when you click again it it does what it closes open and close but now i want us to add a transition for it so that it may not be this just instant so uh let's go to what excel it again and then uh here uh where were we here we are in the this section uh, this number i'm going to add the transition here so transition uh, i'm going to give it all as zero point three or a four a second is is a uh, zero point five be long a very long time let me try and then now uh, I can see guess it is you know very very perfect very awesome and so guess uh, you can see that uh, this section is somehow complete uh, so I want us to go to another section now that this section is complete so I uh, guess what I do, let's go to our HTML, add to our text editor guys, and then I will begin with the HTML. And then uh, first of all, let's remove this now, uh, this uh, part, this uh, section, because I just wanted to create some some space down here, down there. 
uh, so that uh, we may see the scroll effects on that you know, navigation section. So now, okay, so let's create a section here, a comment, and then I'm going to see what I'm going to see. Um, let me say featured, uh, featured, actual featured uh, section, so the featured section, and then I guess I'm going to begin with that section. So, guys, okay, so I'm going to create here a section. So, uh, let me say section, section dot what? So, section dot uh, featured featured feature then I click in that and then I guess uh, what I'm going to do now is to add a title so I'm going to add a h2 title and then uh, first of all let me give it a class name is title title and then actually it should be title right title and then I click in that so in this title let me say um let me say latest latest photo shoots latest um photo shoots latest photo shoots photo shoots and then I guess uh, let me save first of all and see if it's appearing in, the, in our browser and then I guess you can see at the bottom here we have the latest photo shoot but I guess I want us to create some padding for it and then uh, you know stay it further so um, what I'm going to do now let's go to our CSS and then I guess I want us to add, you know, the some global theme that will affect the other section that we'll be using. So let me go to the top section here, and then I uh, let me just uh, write section, and then I uh, open and close the curly bracket so that it may affect every section that we'll be using. And then I'm going to say what? I'm going to say here. I'm going to say um, actual padding. I'm going to give it a padding of what? I'm going to give it a padding of 100 pixels. That is. Uh, top and bottom and then a zero left and right so let me say first of all and see some changes and then I guess you can see we have some space there but now I guess I want to I want us to select this section further so uh, what I do let's go to the CSS at the bottom here and then uh, where well, before the media query here so uh, where well, hey, sorry 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 sorry, sorry. So before the media query, let me create, let me just uh, make some space down here. And then uh, here, let me create a comment. So let me say feature, featured styling, you know, styling, featured styling. And then I uh, guess uh, what I'm, what I'm going to do now, let's start to get the title. So section, section dot what, dot, actually section uh, dot title title remembers our class and then i guess what i'm going to begin with is the font family let me just copy this font family somewhere so that i can repeat myself typing i hate typing so let me just copy and then here at the bottom you just paste paste it there and then i guess uh, what i do uh, the next i to align the text at the center so let me text align to be a that to be centered and then uh, what else i'm going to uh, create so let me say font size you can see the font size is somewhat small so font size font size i'm going to give it uh let me give it a uh, 40 pixel 40 pixel and then out here i'm going to give it um uh, you know a font weight of medium font weight of medium medium and then uh hmm. so let me say first of all and see some changes in the browser and then I guess you can see it is, you know, somehow good, um, very, very good. So uh, now I want us to create, you know, uh, the underline on it and then also some text between the lines. So what I do, uh, let's go to this CSS and then now, uh, now let me say dot section, let me copy this part, let me copy this part and then I'll do it, press it there. And then now uh, let me say uh, before, you know, let me say it before. Let me say it before, and then I uh, open and close the curly brackets, and then our uh, content, content is gonna be none, none, none. Uh, we use these two double quotes, quotation marks to represent the none, and then our uh, position, position. I'm going to give it to at absolute, and then now uh, what is I'm going to give it a uh, width 
a width, you know the length of it. So the width I'm going to give it, um, let me give it 200. Let me give it a uh, 200, a uh, 200, uh, you know, pixel, and then what? I'm going to give it a height of height. I'm going to give it. I'm going to give it what? I'm going to give it a um, 30 pixel, a 30, you know, pixel, and then uh, what else? I'm going to give it a background, background uh, of black. Let me give it black. And then uh, I'm going to give it a bottom property. Bottom property, I'm going to give it a zero. And then uh, I'm going to give it a left property of a left left property. I'm going to give it 50 percent, 50 percent. And then uh, into a convention, so transform, transform. I'm going to say what translate, translate, uh, translate x. Translate x and then I'm going to give it a negative, you know, 50 percent. And so, guys, I want to have given uh, this uh, this property. And by the way, guys, uh, here it is absolute position is absolute. So, here I'm going to give it relative. So, position here I'm going to give it what position I'm going to give it relative at uh, this title, the main part. So, let me save and then I guess uh, let me see in the browser. And uh, so guys you can see we have the line at the bottom so i want to create you know some pattern for it some margin so let me go to my ca to this section and then uh, let me see what uh let me say margin margin actually margin margin bottom i'm going to give it what margin bottom i'm going to give it a uh, 60 pixel also padding padding bottom so padding bottom i'm going to give it also uh, let me give it 20 pixel and then uh, let me save and then i'll see some changes and i guess you can see this is awesome this is somehow awesome but uh let me change the you know opposite of this black or uh, let me change it to make it at least brownish so uh here apart let me try to give it even three background let me give it even a three so that it may not be that dark so guys i think that part is now complete now let's target the after so what i do let me just uh, copy this section duplicate it and then uh, here i'm going to change it to after so let me just say after actually after yeah i'm going to give it after and then uh, content in the after i'm going to say what i'm going to give it a uh, uh, featured uh, let me say um hmm, featured featured uh, let me just say featured featured and then uh do what oh before that uh, before anything just remove this part width and the uh, and uh, height because this applicable only to the you know to the underline to the line so um what i do guys uh, let me just uh, do it let me uh, but now for bottom here i'm going to give it negative 12. let me give it negative 12 a uh, pixel and then uh, what is uh, the color so color i'm going to give it what let me color let me give it uh, mm -hmm, blue or uh, let me give it red so color color let me give it a uh, red let me give it red and then uh, what is and then uh, mm -hmm. uh background background let me give it a uh, white so background background the color i'm going to give it what white white you can use color name or color value whichever way it just work so what i do let me save and then i uh, go to my text editor uh, before anything let me add also the padding for it so padding a padding i'm going to give it what uh, padding i'm going to give it five pixel so let me save and then uh, let me go to my text editor and then i guess you can see it is you know it is good but now you can see the height and everything is not good so let me reduce the height the you know the font size so i'm going to say what font size font size i'm going to give it so font size font size i'm going to give it um font size i'm going to give it uh perhaps let me give it 20 pixels 20 pixels and then uh, let me save 
and then I'll see some changes in the browser. So guys, I want us to create uh, the slider here, the carazo here at the bottom. So to do that, I guess I'm going to use the JavaScript. So now what we do guys, uh, let's go to the JavaScript section. Uh, to the JavaScript, uh, actually to this page called uh, Swiper. Swiper.js, swiper.js.com now to the get started uh, section. Swiper.js.com forward slash get started, like this one. And then I click enter. And then I guess uh, what I'm going to do now, um, uh, the first thing I guess I'm going to do is uh, Swiper, uh, sw use Swiper from you know, CDN. So I guess I'm going to copy this link. So let me copy. And then uh, to my text editor, I guess, and then uh, to the head section. Uh, to the head section, I guess, I'm going to paste the script there. So let me just uh, paste it there. I uh, added the link on the script. So let me just uh, paste it there. Also, uh, let me create some space here so that it may be organized, uh, pleasing. So, uh, let it remain the way it is. And then, uh, guys, uh, what I'm going to do, um, mm -hmm. let me copy also this script tab here. Let me copy the script tab. And then, uh, do it. I do it. And now, at the bottom here, before the closing tag of this uh, script, let me create it there. I just paste it there. And then, I do it. Let's save. And then, now, uh, guys, I want us to create a section here. And so let me give it uh, any name like let me give it create a class like a container 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 and then I click enter <coughs> and then I guess I want us to create the to paste the HTML layout from the CDN page so if I so if I use CDN so I just I copy this uh, layout I copy the layout here <coughs> just copy it and then I do it to our HTML just paste it there yeah just paste it there but now i don't need uh, this scroll something so scroll bar so let me remove it and then notice uh hmm. so now guess uh, what i'm going to do now is to change the images to create the images here and instead of the one i'm going to use the img img tag and then uh, i'm going to specify the folder for my images it is assets for slash and then uh, let me use perhaps graduation on and perhaps let me remove this section and then I do have to duplicate this section. Uh, shift alt then down key. Perhaps let me make five of them or four and then uh, here I'm going to say what I'm going to give it any name like um <coughs> let me give it nature nature one and then uh, here let me give it what let me give it something like uh, something like um <coughs> let me uh, let me give it to wedding one and then uh, here let me do what let me say here let me say what let me say uh, uh let me give it in uh graduation graduation two and then i guess uh first of all let me uh let's go to our css and style it first of all we are going to begin with the container <coughs> so dot container uh actually the create remember it's a class class here is dot container the main class here is dot container so I, I always do this so that to make everybody understand where it comes from uh, I want to go step by step so that each and everybody may gain something so I'm going to give it a width of you know a 100 yeah, percent percent and then I'm going to give it a you know I'm going to give it a weight a, a height a height or height, height of you know 100 VHG at height and then I'm going to give it uh, perhaps display display I'm going to give it what I'm going to give it flex and I give it align items align items property I'm going to give it what I'm going to give it um, sender sender and then uh, what else I'm going to give it a uh, <coughs> And justify content justify content a space between a space space between space uh, space between and then I uh, guess uh, also there's this class we, we need to state it uh, for swiper here this class subclass and then I uh, do it just paste it there <coughs> and then uh, dot uh, remember you add dot let's give it a widow 
of 80%, it may cover only 80%, 80% of the page, 80%. And then uh, also I'm going to give it a height, a height of uh, feet content. Let me give it feet content. And then now, uh, guys, also, they, I want to start the images. They are big now when you go to the browser. So let me just copy this uh, class and then I do it. Uh, let's paste it there. Just paste it there. And then I do it. Uh, now take it in the IMG, the images. Because uh, when you go now to the browser, you'll find that it's very, very big. So let me give it a width. <coughs> the width I'm going to give it 100%. Uh, percent. So, okay, so let me save. And then I see in the browser. <coughs> uh, what I do, uh, let me clear this part. And then I uh, guess you can see, you know, it is. Uh, it is perfect, but I guess I want us to add in you know, some border radius. I don't know, like the sharp, that sharp thing here. Let me add a radius, like you know. Let me give it a border radius. Border radius of perhaps uh, 10 pixel, or uh, let me give it 15 pixel. Let me show and see some changes. Yeah, I guess this is awesome for me. And then now, uh, guess I want us to to make this uh, pagination function, this uh, part function. So what I'm going to do is uh, now, uh, let's go, oh, I cleared this section. So let me go to the same page, Swiper, swipergs.com. Now I guess I want us to copy the script, the JavaScript for it. So here the, you know, the script part. So copy this part. Actually not in this section, guess that it is here at the bottom. Let me copy this initializer as right by here this section. So let me just uh, copy it. And let me copy it. And then I uh, guess uh, what I do uh, to my index, I want to use the inline, the internal of JavaScript. So I just create the script tag, script, script tag. And after the note, it should be scripts, uh, script. And then uh, Create some space there and then I let space it there. And then I guess I see that uh, we don't need the scroll bar here. <coughs> we don't need the scroll bar. Again, uh, this uh, vertical uh, direction, let me remove it. <coughs> uh, let me remove it. So let's see if we have the pagination on our browser. <coughs> so let me clear now. This part I think now we are done with it. And then I guess you can see we have the pagination. Though it's not visible. Perhaps we'll increase the size later, but I want us to make it functional. We'll make it functional, clickable. So let's add the, some function for it. Some, so here I'm going to say what? Uh, let's say uh, clickable. Clickable. Uh, clickable, then I'm going to say true. 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 And then I uh, remember styling in JavaScript, you uh, close with a comma. So first of all, let me save, and then I'll uh, see uh, some changes in the browser. I'm sure guys are. Uh, you can see when you click on it, it, it brings another item. So this is in our pleasing. This is uh, perfect. And then uh, guys, also you can see this uh, pagination section, it is functional, functioning. It's just, you know, very, very perfect. And then, uh, so guys, uh, what, are we, what we are going to do next is to, um, is to make it, you know, uh, to make it uh, out of play, out of play. So what to do that, uh, let's go to this section, and then I guess uh, let me uh, create out of play function, out of play, out of play, and then uh, you know, colon, and then uh, open and close the curly brackets. And then I'm going to delay. Delay. I'm going to give it what? I'm going to give it, you know, a three second, which is a three hundred, three thousand millisecond, millisecond. And then I uh, disable. Let me add also another here statement. So disable. Uh, disable. On interaction. In the interaction. Interaction. Disable on interaction. I'm going to give it what? I'm going to give it, uh, you know, false. I'm going to give it false. And then I guess you will remember to close with the semicolon here. 
and then now let's save and send our browser and I guess you can see after every three seconds uh, it goes to another item you know just you know very very awesome uh, very very perfect and so guys I think uh, this section is now complete and so I want us to create also another section down here for perhaps uh, the graduation something so graduation uh, photos so what I'm going to do now is to go to my text editor and then uh, here at the end here of this uh, section here I'm going to create first of all a comment and then in this comment let me say um, a graduation graduation what graduation um, graduation uh, section let me say section a uh, graduation section and then uh, what I'm going to begin with is a uh, uh, it's a section let me begin with a section so section section dot uh, dot graduation graduation section dot graduation and then I uh, open and close the curly brackets and then uh, what, uh, what I'm going to say here now is to add the max width property and uh, let me give it a uh, first of all let me give it a title so h2 h2 and then I dot you know title dot title dot title title is it the spelling for title and then uh, hmm. so here I'm going to say um, uh, here I'm going to say what let me say um, graduation let me say graduation photos or uh, let me say graduation uh, let me just say photos graduation photos photos and then uh, what I do uh -huh, what is I'm going to with a uh, max width max width so the next thing the next class I'm going to give is that uh, max width max width that max width and then I'm going to say what I'm going to give it also at the card so dot card dot card and then inside this card I'm going to place some three images so let me begin with the graduation one so uh, uh, first of all begin with IMG to specify the images that you're going to insert an image so you're going to begin by specifying the folder for images assets then of course forward slash now to identify the image that you're, you're going to use so I'm going to use graduation one and then what I do is like this uh, let me just duplicate shift alt then down key one two three and then uh, here I'm going to change it to uh, let me give it two uh, here let me give it what here let me give it a uh, three here let me give it three and then uh, let me save guys and then I uh, save in the browser and then uh, guys you can see it is you know uh, somehow good and so guys uh, there you can see we have some images here but some are big very very big some are small so I guess I want us to style and uh, make it uniform and uh, perhaps change the display. So uh, what I'm going to do now is to uh, copy this class. I'm going to use this one, card. So let me just uh, copy and then I'll do it to my CSS. First of all, let me create a comment here and then uh, let me say uh, graduation, uh, graduation uh, section, section styling graduation section styling and then i guess i'm going to begin with the with the card so section first of all begin with the section dot uh, max width max width dot a uh, card actually dot a uh, card dot card remember a card is our class that i copied here is the class <coughs> and then i open and close the card bracket and then uh, what i'm going to do let me just uh, copy this styling here this property this declaration and then I'll uh, do it. Let me just uh, paste it there. And then uh, the width. Uh, huh. So height. Uh, let me give it now auto. Let me give it auto. And then um, display flex and everything. So what I do now is to target the images so that it was very very big. So let me just uh, copy this part and then I uh, paste down here. And then uh, now I get in the IMG. So what you do is uh, let me give it a width of 
Uh, let me give it a width of uh, so width. With it, let me give it something like uh, <laughs> let me give it. I shall change. I shall just change it to not a uh, fit. So let me try to give it something like a 450, 450, a pixel. Remember you had the, the units, and then uh, the height. A uh, height. I'm going to give it. A uh, height. Let me try to give it something like a 250, 250 in you know, a pixel. And then uh, to make the image you know pleasing, I'm going to use the object object fit i'm going to give it cover so uh, let me try to save and see if it's good <coughs> and then now uh, guys you can see this you know some are good so now i want us to create you know some margin for it so that it may not be close to each other and so i'm going to give it a margin a margin of what so margin margin let me give it Imagine, let me give it a 10 pixel, 10 pixel, a 10 pixel. Mm -hmm. So let me give it margin, margin, yeah, margin. Okay, let me say margin, margin left and right, top and bottom. I'm going to give it a zero, and then a 10 pixel or a 15 pixel. That is, you know, left and right. So let me say, and then see some changes. And then I uh, guess you can see that uh, this is one, this is a uh, very very awesome. And so what I'm going to do now guys is to duplicate this section. Uh, I want us to duplicate this section so that we may have several of them. So uh, let's go to text edit again and then add to our HTML. So let me just uh, copy this part for card. This part and then uh, let me do it, let me just uh, duplicate. And then uh, here I'm going to change it to Mm, I don't know how many graduation photos do I have, so let me just uh, see. Mm -hmm. It was five. It is five. So here I'm going to give it a uh, four, and then uh, here I'm going to give it. I'm going to oh, it, I should just change the number. So, but anyway, mm, let me give it this one five, and then uh, perhaps this one let me give it two, two, and then uh, let me save. And so guys uh, what next uh, we are going to duplicate this section and at least at least make it you know uh, some you know uh, some two sections here so what i'm going to do guys uh, now here uh, let me just uh, copy this section from max width here so let me just uh, copy this part and then i'll duplicate it shift alt then down key and then uh hmm. so let me just change the images so here let me give it uh um, perhaps four there are five images so let me give it this one five and then i uh, here perhaps let me give it two two because uh, there are there were five images and then i uh, let me save and then i uh, see and then i uh, guess you can see it is you know it's somehow good so what i'm going to do is nice to change the styling here to reduce the padding and everything so i'm going to change the, uh, to give it a margin so that it may be you know a 10 pixel both sides both top and bottom right, right and left so that it may not be close to each other so now let's go to our css and uh, to our css and then i guess here let me just give it um you know let me give it uh margin let me give it 10 pixel both sides 10 pixel and then uh, let me save and then add to my browser let me see and then i uh, guess you can see the spacing here they are very very good it is perfect now and so guys uh, i want us to create also another section here for an uh, perhaps wedding so let me go to my uh, you know to my uh to my html and then i do it uh, let me just uh, duplicate this let me first of all create a comment here uh, create a comment and then uh, let me say what let me say uh let me say what let me give it this name let me say uh, uh okay this is wedding section so let me say wedding wedding section wedding section and then i guess what i'm going to do now is to copy this section let me just uh, copy this part and then i do it i just paste down here and then uh, here i'm going to give it 
and let me give it a what? Let me give it a graduation. Let me give it a, a graduation. And then uh, here, let me say wedding photos. Wedding, wedding uh, photos. Wedding photos. And then uh, let me say, and first of all, see if it's available on, on our browser. <coughs> and then I uh, guess you can see, uh, uh, the weddings are here, but now I want us to change the images and everything. So what I'm going to do is nice to go to our, uh, uh, to our what, to our HTML, and then I guess I'm going to change it to wedding. <coughs> so let me just uh, give it to wedding. Let me know how many weddings are here. So wedding there are uh, four images, four images. Well, they are very few. But now let me just uh, give it wedding one. And then uh, let me just uh, duplicate, uh, delete first of all this section and then I'll uh, duplicate. Shift hold then down key, two, three. And then uh, here I'm going to change it to two, <coughs> to two. And then uh, here I'm going to change it to, uh, let me give it three. And then I uh, here for uh, actually should be waiting. So let me just uh, clear this section. And then I do it copy this part. Let me just uh, copy. And then I do it just paste paste it there. And then I uh, here I'm going to give it four. For here I'm going to give it something like there are five, four images only. So here let me give it one. Here uh, or uh, let it remain the way it is. Mm -hmm. Here it should be four should be four and then uh, let me save and see some changes <coughs> and then our uh, guys you can see this uh, wedding section it's just very very perfect pleasing so i think that this call this part is now good so i want us to create another section here another section uh for what for our uh, nature nature i think they are nature so let me go to my you know, text, editor, text editor and then I guess uh, let me also create a comment and then I'm going to say what I'm going to give it a let me say um, nature nature section nature section I think nature there were very very many images so let me just uh, copy this part let me just uh, copy this section uh, let me just uh, copy Hey, hey, let me just uh, copy and then do it. Let me just uh, paste it there. And then uh, here I'm going to give it perhaps wedding. I want I want us to have I want it to have the same styling. So yeah, let me say oh this is um nature nature and then uh, here so uh, here there's a uh, let me give it nature. <coughs> uh, let me give it nature nature there are uh, eight images so this is perfect for us so let me give it to nature one and so let me just uh, give it you know let me just uh, duplicate this section one two actually yeah this is perfect and then uh, here i'm going to give it a uh, two and uh, here i'm going to give it a uh, three actually three should be three three and then uh, here I'm going to give it, uh, let me just uh, delete this section, mm, delete, and then uh, let me just uh, copy this part, let me just uh, copy, and then I do it, let me just uh, paste it there, and then uh, here I'm going to change it to um, 4, here I'm going to change it to 5, uh, here I'm going to change it to 6, and then I do it, let me save, so here also I'm going to change it to um let me say um uh, perfect let me say perfect let me say just perfect uh, perfect nature photos i don't know you can give it to whichever name you are you wish but me just i know for the sake of tutorial uh just save and then uh, let me do it let me uh before that, uh, let me just uh, make it no crazy. So let me save, and then uh, to my browser. And so this, I, I think that uh, this part is complete. So I want us to create the services section or a call to action here at the bottom. 
So um, what I'm going to do guys, uh, let me go to uh, my text editor and then uh, to the HTML here at the bottom, let me create a comment and then I'm going to say what, let me say uh, services, services section and then I guess what I'm going to do now is to, uh, or let me just uh, write a page. So let me say dot, or uh, let, me, let me copy this, no. Uh, there's no you know effect to uh, with copy mm -hmm. let me just uh, copy this section and then i do it let me just paste it there but now i'm going to change it to uh let me give it services 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 section and then uh here uh, in the title let me give it uh something like our uh, our professional our professional our professional services services you can give it any name and then uh, guys uh, what I'm going to do now here let me remain with the uh, single image first of all let me clear these two images <coughs> let me clear these two images and then uh, here I'm going to change it to uh, an image here called so let me just for uh, for that and then I give it a width of what? Let me first of all select the image. The image. And by the way, guys, uh, let me create a, a class for it. So let me just cut. And then uh, let me create a class. So let me say dot left. And dot left. And then I'm going to place this image here. And then uh, what I do, guys, uh, let me just uh, do, uh, delete this section. <coughs> let me just uh, clear. So that uh, we may remain with the only this uh, two parts and then uh, here uh, what I'm going to do now is to duplicate this section shift alt then down key and then uh, here I'm going to change it to uh, right <coughs> to right uh, let me give it right and then uh, here instead of image I'm going to create a, a text and so let me use a I don't know let me use a h3 let me use a h3 uh, h3 and then I'm going to say what let me say uh, services let me say services um, services service or uh, call to action let me say just say services <coughs> and then uh, here the second line I'm going to write lorem uh, lorem what lorem 70, 70 to generate 70 watts and then uh, remember I'm just using for demo but I can use a good word. Oh, the funny thing is here it should be, uh, should be inside a p tag. I forgot. So lorem, lorem seventy. For the sake of demo guys, but you can type your own your style very well. But for me, for the sake of, of you know, uh, for the sake of tutorial, I just want to make it you know faster. And then here I want us to create a button. So I'm going to use an anchor tag to create a button. So here I'm going to give it a hash, a hash, <coughs> and then uh, here, and uh, let me say book, um, book our services, or uh, let me say what, let me say book, or uh, let me just say book our services, can you give it any name, now, book our services now, <coughs> book our services now, and then I guess uh, let me go to the internet, uh, let me open another tab and then I uh, search for HTML symbols, symbols, entities, and codes. Here it is. Then I click in that. And then I uh, using this first link, I uh, just uh, click on it. <coughs> and then uh, to this arrow section here, guys, I uh, just click on it. And then I'm going to use this one, the arrow, the right arrow. So I'm going to copy the HTML code here. <coughs> let me just copy. And then now uh, I can clear this section. And then I go to where? Uh, let me go to uh, to the HTML. And then uh, let me just paste it there. And then uh, guys, let me save. And then uh, guys, uh, here I want us to make a different styling for services. So let me first of all create a comment. So let me see services, services, you know styling, services styling. And then I uh, guess uh, what I'm going to do now is to change the. I, uh, you know for images it has been full, you know featured so for services I'm going to change it and give it uh, for this after I'm going to give it uh, about uh, parts let me say 
um, y as so I'll do the first property so I'm going to remove this section and then uh, let me say services dot services or uh, let me just copy the class name so that everybody may know what we are doing here so let me just uh, copy copy and then I'll do it let me just you know uh, paste there services and then uh, what else uh, services and then uh, here I'm going to give it let me say why us why why us why us and then I uh, guess uh, what is so let me again uh, copy this part let me just uh, copy this part let me just uh, copy and then I uh, do it let me just paste down here <coughs> let me paste it down here and then uh, here I want to add you know another uh, another statement so flex you know uh, flex flex direction I'm going to give it in you know, a column and then uh, guys, uh, what is should I change here and then uh, here uh, we don't have images so what I'm going to do uh, no it's services so let me just say dot services uh, let me say dot services and the services then uh, with I'm going to give it I don't know let me give it something like uh, 400 by 400 yeah, that, that image I'm assuming it's a square so 400 by uh, 400 400 400 and then um, <laughs> and by the case uh, here I forgot to remove this section here I forgot to remove it here it should be uh, services uh, dot, dot services so that it may not affect the other sections so dot services and then uh, what else here I'm going to remove this uh, flex direction here uh, to be called um, let me just uh, remove it sorry so uh, let me remove this section guys so that we may not have issues and then uh, what is uh, and then uh, let me save guys and then I'll see some changes in the browser so uh, let me see and uh, guys you can see it is you know good you can see these are text and they are very very you know perfect uh, but I don't know if the image is big. Let me try to resize it and perhaps give it 350, 350. So let me change the image size and uh, perhaps give it uh, a 350 so that it may not be that big. So 350 by uh, 350 or a 400, 350 by 400, for 400. And then uh, let me see. Mm -hmm. And see there is some changes. Not really. It should be. Let me just uh, give it. This is 3500. Okay, that's why. Let me just uh, give it all 350. And 350. And then I'll do what? Let me save. And then I'll see in the browser. Uh -huh. And then, uh, guys, you can see this is somehow uh, good. But now, guys, I want us to style this section so that it may be you know, perfect. So, beginning with the title, which is H3, I'm going to increase the size. So, uh -huh let me say what now take it in there let me now see the the right and then uh put uh, the services the h3 so let me do this let me copy this part uh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. let me just uh, do it let me copy this part mm -hmm. do, do we have the card section here no i don't i don't see the card oh the card is there so what i'm going to do is uh, let me uh let me just paste it there but now target not the left the right and uh, dot right now dot right styling dot right dot right but now specifically for h3 h3 and so um i'm going to increase the size so font size font size I'm going to give it um, 40 pixel let me give it 40 pixel and then uh, padding um, padding bottom padding bottom I'm going to give it let me give it uh, 10 pixel and then uh, let me save and then I uh, see some changes I guess this is you know um, 
Or what I do is uh, let me try to engrave some padding for this uh, section so that it may not be close to each other for the IMG. So I'm going to engrave the padding here. Uh, the margin. Where is it? To this IMG, I'm going to give it um, actually margin. Uh, where is it? Services and then uh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so uh, okay here it is. So imagine I'm going to give it a uh, margin. Let me give it uh, perhaps 20 pixel 20. Uh, let me say margin left, margin left or margin left, margin left. I'm going to give it a uh, 20 pixel. Then uh, let me say and then I uh, try to see. Oh, not really, it should be margin right, guys, sorry. should be margin right, margin right. Margin right, sorry, guys. So, let me see. And then I see some changes. <coughs> or let me give it even something like uh, that. And let me give it a uh, 35 pixel. Uh, 35 pixel, and then uh, let me see. <coughs> and then I see. Yeah, this is, you know, uh, this I think is good. So, guys, okay, so what else we are going to save this uh, part, this section for services, uh, this uh, anger tag here. So, um, let's go to our text editor, guys. And then uh, let me just uh, copy this section. <coughs> let me just uh, copy. Or uh, what I do, let me just uh, duplicate it. Shift, Alt, then down key. And then, uh, guys, uh, here I'm going to target now the anger tag. Let me first of all see if it's the anger tag. Yeah, it's the anger tag. <laughs> and then I'm going to do it. Mm -hmm. Font size here, I'm going to give it a uh, 20. 20 uh, pixel. And then um, here, I'm going to give it a padding. Just padding, padding. I'm going to give it a, I'm going to give it a, uh, perhaps, let me give it a, um, uh, let me give it a. Uh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Let me try to give it ten pixel to be big. I I will just you know change if it will not be good. So or, uh, yeah, let me go with the uh, with a ten pixel. Then a uh, background color. Background color, guys. Uh, let me give it a uh, blue. A uh, blue. Let me give it blue. And then what uh, else? So text color text uh text actually to be just color sorry guys i'm kind of confused so color i'm going to give it white i'm going to give it white and then um border radius border radius i'm going to give it on uh, that let me give it that pixel that pixel then uh, let me see and then i uh, see some changes in the browser and then uh, guys you can see more good but now let's take this uh, text also so let's go to our text editor guys and then uh, uh, let me just uh, copy this section I uh, copy this part uh, sorry guys here I'm going let me just uh, copy this section let me just uh, copy it copy and then I uh, paste down it here down here and then uh, here I'm going to say what here I'm going to target the p tag the paragraph and then I'm going to give it margin. Uh, actually, margin bottom. Bottom, I'm going to give it uh, 20 pixel. 20 pixel. Let me see and save and see some changes. Um, and then, uh, guys, you can see it is, you know, some are good. But also, let me add uh, the padding for it. So, padding. Padding or, uh, yeah, padding. Padding bottom, let me give it 10 pixel. 10 pixel, and then I uh, do it. Let me save, and then I uh, see some changes. Yeah, mm -hmm. guys, I think this is awesome. But uh, what I want us to do now is to add the hover effect on this what, on this uh, text to this te text. So let's now go to our uh, uh, text editor, guys, and then uh, here. Let me copy this section. Let me just uh, copy and then I uh, paste down it here, down here. 
uh, let me just paste it down here down there and then uh, here guys i'm going to say what let me say uh here to be hover instead of the target thing when you hover when you hover so i'm going to give it what i'm going to give it a um, background background i'm going to give it none none but uh, i want to add the border so border border i'm going to give it a uh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. border i'm going to give it one pixel but uh, let me give it two pixel uh you know solid two pixel solid and then uh, which color let me give it a blue again the color to be blue and blue and then uh, now the text let's change from white to black so text uh, actually color why am I, oh, hey. so text text let me give it a color of you know white a black 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 so let me save and then i see some changes <coughs> and then i guess you can see when i have on it it is very very beautiful but now i want us to add you know some transition for it so transition let me say what here the and let, let me add a transition so transition transition let me give it all uh zero zero point uh, four seconds zero point four second uh is then uh, let me save and then uh, i guess you can see when i have on it it is very very beautiful very very beautiful mm -hmm. and so guys i think that this section is uh now complete so guys i want us to create the footer <coughs> i want us to create the footer here at the bottom and so what i'm going to do now guys is to go to the html and then uh, here let me create a footer so let me just uh, create two words let me first of all create a comment and then uh, let me say footer and footer and then uh, for footer i'm just using the footer so footer let me just say footer footer and then uh, in the footer guys i'm going to begin with a span a span and then uh, let me say what let me say designed 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 uh, by by and then i'm going to use an anger tag here by and then uh, here let me give it a hash uh let me say name tech let me say by name tech designed by or uh, let me make it a card so let me say name name tech name tech name tech and then uh, what is uh, here I'm going to change it and uh, give it. let me add also a copyright here. So I'm going going to use this i sorry i tag dot uh, dot uh, f a dot uh, 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 f a dot f a copyright. I don't know if that's the spelling for the copyright. You know the and the code for the copyright in our icon. So let me just say cop copyright uh, copyright. And then I do it. Uh, hmm, here at the end of this span and then uh, let me say at 2022 a copyright at uh, 2020 designed by a name tech at 2022 2022 uh, 2022 at uh, 2022 dot or uh, before let me here let me add a copyright here so let me create a let me say copyright uh, copy uh let me say copyright copy right copyright uh copyright hey, hey. copyright at uh so at 2022 let me say all rights all right uh reserved first of all let me see in the browser let me see in the browser and then i uh, guess you can see at the bottom here we have the this uh part for footer so i guess i want us to stay it further so that it may be you know a professional perfect and so what i'm going to do now guys is to go to the css 
uh, to the CSS and then uh, tag it in the footer section so uh, to the CSS first of all let me create a comment here and let me say uh, footer footer and then uh, let me say the footer instead of footer footer then I uh, open and close the curly bracket and then I'm going to say but uh, actually let me add a uh, background color so background I'm going to give it uh, let me give it gray or uh, let me give it this color and then now what else I'm going to give it now the text color I'm going to give it so text is gonna be what actually why am I confused so color for color I'm going to give it so the text color I'm going to give it uh, white white and then uh, let me what do it let me uh, save also let me add the padding for it so padding remember padding is the space uh, inside or uh, yeah inside the space inside the borders of an element so let me give it something like uh, 40 pixels 40 pixels i don't know if it will be big so let me save and then by the way align the items to be centered so text align <coughs> text align i'm going to give it standard so let me save and then to my browser uh guys you can see it is you know um good but now i want us to add in some some space between this uh, corporate here this corporate st uh, stuff so let me do this uh, hmm. uh here what i do guys now mm -hmm, mm -hmm. it's just simple let me just uh, create this space uh, this way or uh, what i do or, uh, let me try this one Mm -hmm. it is between this uh, angle so let me just create a space there and then uh, let me save and by the way let me change the anger tag so footer when i tag it in the anger tag so let me paste it down here uh, tag it in the anger tag so i'm going to give it which color so let me give it red color so color i'm going to give it red so color i'm going to give it red so let me save and then i see some changes and then uh, guys you can see it is you know good but now i understand to increase the font size so font size uh, hmm. so font size i'm going to give it font size i'm going to give it 40. let me give it 40 pixel so let me save or it will be big i'll just change guys if it will not be good wow wow this is big let me give it uh, something like uh, 25 let me give it 25 pixel so let me save and uh, still it's good big let me give it 20 let me give it 20 then uh, let me save and see and i guess i think this is perfect this is good and so guys uh, there you can see the home section is now complete uh, perhaps let's view it and then i guess you can see it is still you know perfect still working this is the home section uh the graduation section the wedding section uh the perfect you know nature photos uh the professional services it is still you know working so i guess i want us to create these other pages too i remember for media query we shall come to it later but now let's go to these other pages too and then uh you know create uh content for it so what i'm going to do is announce uh, to uh to this section to this explorer section here just click on it and then uh, i'm going to begin in the uh what a uh, gallery so let me begin in the gallery so let me say gallery gallery uh, dot uh, html i remember it's a multi page website so that you must you link these other pages too and then uh, the other one was um it was uh, live streaming so for live streaming I want to create live live dot uh, html <coughs> live dot html and then uh, for the other notes about and then a uh, contact so for about I'm going to say about dot uh, html and then I click enter and then uh, this other one is uh, contact contact dot uh, html then I click what enter and so guys i want us to link these pages uh in our website 
So for home, for home, remember it is index, index, index. So instead of hash, you remove and uh, make it this a valid URL index.html. For gallery, I'm going to say gallery.html. For left two minutes, live .html. And then uh, about, about is you know about .html. Uh, contact is um, contact contact dot html and then i guess also to the logo here let's uh, make the uh it is index let me give it index so that when you click on the logo it will take you to the uh, home page so um what i do guys uh, let me say and then uh, these pages are blank when you click on the uh, on the link in our in our page it will just be blank so guys i want us to begin with the uh, gallery section so for gallery let me just uh, drag it to this side and then I uh, guess what I'm going to do now is to copy the HTML code for home. Guys, you see now the goodness of you know giving your work a comment. You can find this section easily. So let me just uh, copy this uh, home in the and the header, and then uh, paste where to the gallery, and then uh, what else? I'm going to copy the footer and the footer section all the way to this end. So let me just uh, copy. And then I do what? Let me just you know get some space and then I let me paste it there. And then I guess I what else I'm going to copy this part. <coughs> this part from you know not featured. Let me copy from graduation. So let me copy the graduation section all the way to um to here to nature. Let me copy and then uh, to the gallery section. Guess uh, let me just paste it there. And then do it. Let me save. And then I go to my browser. I go to my browser and see some changes, guys. And then I guess I let me click on the uh, gallery section. And then uh, guys, uh, now this is the gallery. You can see there's no carazo here. But now, guys, I want us to create, you know, a button here or a text, a button here, so that uh, it may show that we are in the gallery, gallery section. So um, let's go to our text editor, guys. And then now, uh, here where are the home section? I'm going to remove what? I'm going to remove uh, the text. So this text. And then now, uh, what else? I'm going to give it a button. So, mm -hmm. and let me just uh, remove this uh, home content. Uh, let me just uh, remove. And then uh, let me create a, a button. So I'm going to use an anchor tag. So. Uh, anger tag actually anger tag and then i'm going to say what i'm going to say uh, hmm. let me say here let me give it a uh, first of all a uh, hash let me give it a hash this so that it may not have uh, uh 104 error and then i uh, here guys uh, let me say what uh, let me say uh, hmm, 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 hmm. our awesome let me give it explore let me say explore uh, explore and begin with the capital letter. So let, let, let me say, um, explore our awesome, awesome. Hey, I don't know the term for oh, awesome, awesome, uh, awesome collection, awesome collection, explore our awesome collections, collections. Yeah. And then uh, let me say what this exclamation mark should be here. And then uh, let me save. And then I uh, see in the browser. <coughs> and then I uh, guess you can see the text is here. The text is here. So guys, I want us to make it you know appear at the center. And then I uh, style it further so that it may be you know pleasing. So what I'm going to do is announce to I want to make it a button. So, uh -huh, what I'm going to do now is to go to the CSS. First of all, let's identify its home, max width, then anchor tag. So, let's go to the CSS. Where is it? Uh, here it is. And then, uh, just at the just at the, uh, at the home section, let me create also another section here for. Uh -huh. Let me create another comment and say uh, about. You know what, let me give it to uh, let me say pages home 
uh, let me say under under pages styling uh, styling because it will affect other pages that we'll be using so uh, I'm going to begin in the home <coughs> a home a home max with so let me just uh, copy uh, let me say not uh, let me just uh, copy dot home dot home and then a uh, dot you know um max with max with then uh, target in the anger tag so guys what i'm going to do now is to to align the text at the center so text at the should be a sender and then uh font size font size i'm going to give it 40 pixel 40 pixel <coughs> and then uh, i'm going to give it a padding i'm going to add a padding of I'm going to add a padding of uh, 10 pixel, 10 pixel, and also I want to, to create also the border radius because it's gonna be. I'm going to create a. Let me give it 10 or let me give it a uh, 25 uh, pixel, and then uh, since the border, let me add a background for it. So background, I'm going to give it each color. So background background let me give it gray color gray let me say gray uh, gray and then add the text color so text color text uh not really text color I just say color I don't know what's the problem with me so i'm going to give it white white so margin left margin left i'm going to give it what margin left let me give it something like a 250 and then uh, let me say 250 pixel then let me save and see some changes and then uh, I guess you can see it is you know uh, at the center I think these are the center but I guess I want us to add you know padding here padding left and right here and to uh, I want to increase actually the padding left and right so where is padding so padding here padding top and bottom it's 10 pixel then uh, left and right I'm going to give it 20 pixel so let me save and then i see what see changes the changes and then uh, guys it is you know somewhat good let me give it something like um let me give it that let me give it that let me change to that and then at uh, the border radius border radius let me give it uh that that pixel that pixel in so case here it should be 30 pixel so uh, let me save and then now uh, guess this is you know somehow good this is very very perfect and then I uh, guess uh, let's add the hover effect on this so let's go to our text editor and then I uh, guess I uh, copy this part copy this section just copy and then I uh, paste down here I paste down here uh, and then I do it I add when you have a so just say have a and just say what have a and then I open and close the color braces and then I'm going to give background background I'm going to give it what none and then um, border let me add the border radius border radius I'm going to give it um, a two pixel uh, two pixels solid 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 and then I'm going to give it to each color let me give it white and uh, what else uh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, so the text color so the text color sh should it be white let me save first of all and see some changes uh, if it's good so when I have a guys you can see oh the border radius the border the the border color um the body is not you know picking let me uh so oh this is the border radius sorry guys it should be border this, this border property should be just you know border border then uh, uh open uh, just give it you know uh give it a uh, two pixel two pixel and then a uh, solid then I uh, give it what I uh, give it a uh, white.
give it white and then uh, let me say what let me save and then do what see some changes guys can tell when i have on it it is very very beautiful but i want us to add the transition here so the transition is going to be what so here let me add a transition so transition transition i'm going to give it all um 0 .0, 0 0.4 seconds uh is is so let me see and then i'll say again <coughs> so guys you can see it has in a very very beautiful transition it's very very perfect and so guys are uh, here i want us to create also another section here at the bottom for you know uh, for portrait portrait images and so what i do guys uh, let me <coughs> let me let me do it let me go to my text editor guys uh -huh. to my text editor and then i do it uh, to this uh, gallery uh, section so let me just uh, copy what copy this part copy this section uh, copy this section to where uh, on the nature section just copy and then i do it create a comment here and then uh, let me say portrait portraits so portraits and then i uh, just paste it there and then i uh, guess uh, what i'm going to do now is to uh, change the here to uh, let me remove this comment let me remove the comment and then uh, here i'm going to change it to portraits uh, portraits portraits and then uh, here <coughs> let me say a uh, portrait let me say portrait portraits uh shoots shoots or images portrait uh let me say uh or related in many way it is and then uh, here i'm going to remove this part mm -hmm. and then uh, let me change it to portrait so let me change it to portrait one a portrait a portrait uh, one and then i duplicate this part shift all then down key one two three and then uh, here i'm going to change it to two <coughs> i'm going to change it to two and then uh, here i'm going to change it to uh, here first of all I'm going to change it to three. I'm going to change it to three, and then uh, here I'm going to change it to. Oh, let me remove this section, and then I uh, copy what this part, and then I uh, do it paste here. So uh, here I'm going to change it to portrait four. Portrait four. Yeah, I'm going to change it to portrait five. Portrait five, and then uh, here I'm going to change it to portrait what portrait six. And so guys, uh, the class here, I'm going to change it to, instead of max width, I'm going to give it this one. So let me just uh, give it this one, uh, let me say, uh, let me say portrait, 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 so that it may not be affected with the style in the, in the other section. So portrait, portrait uh, 2, uh, also uh, here, let me give it a portrait 2. Let me give it a portrait. Portrait two here, <coughs> and then I uh, guess uh, what I do now. Let me save and then I go to the CSS. <coughs> to the CSS and then I uh, guess uh, what I'm going to do now is to uh, copy what this this section here, this graduation part here, and then uh, let me just uh, copy. <coughs> let me just copy. And then I'll return here. I want to make it, you know, at the at the same place. Where was it? At the end of the home section, home, other pages style in here. Here it is. And then uh, let me just paste it there. And then uh, here instead of max width, I'm going to use this property. I'm going to copy this uh, portrait too. So let me just uh, copy and then to my css dot just paste it there so let me just paste it there and then uh, here again uh, let me just do it 
let me just space it there so that it may not be affected with the other statements and then uh, here these are portrait image so let me give it something like uh, the width to be 400 400 and then a uh, height I'm going to give it at uh, 600 we shall just change if it will not be good and then uh, what 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 so guys uh, let me see you can see some changes first of all and then uh, guys you can see it is you know uh, pleasing so the portrait section it is you know uh, it's good and so guys I want to reduce this space here so uh, what I'm going to do guys is now to go to my CSS again and then I do what let me remove this space these are uh, justify content space between let me remove this property and then I'll do it let me save and at least add you know let me may add a margin so margin uh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, first of all let me just start save and then I'll see some changes <coughs> and then I guess you can see it is you know um, perfect it is good and so guys I think uh, this page is now complete uh, there you can see it it's very very beautiful uh, this is our gallery, gallery section it is very very uh, uh, beautiful and so guys I want us to create this page also, this page also for live streaming section here so what I'm going to do now let's go to our text editor guys and then uh, let me copy this uh, part for you know the header the header for the header for what and the header for you know the about the gallery section let me just uh, copy let me copy and then I do it to the live page here let me just uh, drag it so that it may go in this order so let me just paste it there and then I uh, just uh, paste the header section and then I uh, do it again uh, let me copy the footer let me copy the footer and then I uh, do it let me just uh, copy and then uh, here <coughs> I'm going to do it I'm going to paste it down here I'm going to paste it there and then now uh, uh, here I'm going to change the I'm going to change here to this text to let me say let me say follow our uh, live coverage so let me say follow follow our our live coverage coverage so follow our live coverage now follow our live coverage now so guys uh, first of all let me save and see if it's you know affected in the browser oh, this is the home section so let's click on the live streaming page and then I uh, guess you can see it is very very beautiful follow our live uh, follow our live uh, coverage now so guys uh, what I'm going to do now is to add you know some you know text here and everything so what I'm going to do now guys is to uh, mm -hmm. uh, to this section this is the home section so now guys uh, let me create also another section for uh, let me first of all create a comment and then uh, let me say live live uh, streaming Live streaming mm, uh, section. Live streaming section, and then I guess what I'm going to do is to uh, let me copy one of the items here. Um, hmm. Perhaps let me try the. Let me copy this section. At least uh, I'm going to change everything. Uh, let me just uh, copy, <coughs> and then out to the live page. Let me do it. Let me paste it there. And then uh, here, guys, I'm going to change uh, this uh, max something, max width, and everything. And so, uh -huh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. let me remove this section. Uh, this section actually from this part. Or uh, this one also, I guess. Yeah, this one. Let me remove this section, and then I do it, guys. Uh, what I do, um, 
in this card so i want us to create you know some uh code uh, like let me say let me cut this section guys let me cut let me cut and then i'll begin in the youtube so let me say uh dot youtube i want to create a class for it youtube and then i do it just paste it there and then uh inside uh, not uh, just uh, paste it there so this is the image so i'm going to change the image too I'm going to give it what I'm going to give it uh, something like uh, let me give it to YouTube here yeah. YouTube and then I'm going to follow with the text so let me create also a text uh, like mm -hmm. <coughs> uh, which text should I, should I give it here so uh, let me say so let me say h3 h3 uh, h3 and then uh, let me say uh, perhaps let me say let me give it anything like youtube 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 and then uh, also let me create also for uh, some images uh okay some paragraph here it should be youtube youtube and then uh, here i'm going to create a p tab here at the bottom and then uh, perhaps let me say lauren Lorem 20 Lorem 20 and then at the end here I want to create a button so let me say that um, uh, let me use an anger tag of course uh, let me create a button just dot btn btn and then I'm going to create what I'm going to create a button for it <coughs> so a button is going to be I'm going to place it in an anger tag so anger tag and then I'm going to say what I'm going to say here first of all give it a hash of course if you, if you have a valid URL you can copy the YouTube uh, you know URL here uh, but for me it's just for demo and then uh, here I'm going to say <coughs> YouTube uh, so let me say YouTube YouTube follow YouTube YouTube live coverage so what I say uh, so let me say follow follow uh, let me say YouTube live streaming or uh, let me say follow uh, let me say YouTube <laughs> let me just say YouTube YouTube live stream use YouTube live coverage coverage YouTube live coverage and then now uh, what is so I symbol uh, what I'm going to sorry let me remove this part this section and then uh, just duplicate this part let me remove this part mm -hmm, yeah let me remove this section and then i guess what i'm going to do now is to uh, make these items try so shift alt then down key so the next thing is gonna be what let me change it to um let me give it facebook facebook and then uh, here i'm going to change the image to um to perhaps let me say Facebook. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Here is Facebook, and then uh, follow our. Uh, so here, let me give it to YouTube. YouTube live coverage, and then uh, here I'm going to give it. I don't know if it's Twitter. Let me give it Twitter. It is Periscope or whatever it is. I don't know. Let me just say Twitter. Twitter. And let me give it oh class so a class name here i'm going to give it twitter by the way i like using the small a small letter here and the class name so that it may not have issues so facebook youtube yeah and then this one is twitter and then i'm going to change it to oh by the way here it should be um here it should be facebook Facebook, uh, Facebook, Facebook live coverage, and then uh, here I'm going to change it to Twitter or Periscope. I have a, a an image for Twitter, so you don't know why it's Twitter. Here it is, Twitter, and then I'm going to change it to I don't know, it's Periscope, I don't know, something like that. But uh, let me just give it Twitter, let me give it Twitter. And so guys, uh, first of all, let me save and see if it's uh, available in our browser, if it's appearing. And so, 
what I do, uh, let me refresh. <coughs> and then, uh, guys, you can see it is, you know, available here. So, what I'm going to do now is to uh, reduce perhaps the, uh, the sizes and everything. So, um, what I do is symbol. Let me go to my text editor. And then to the CSS. Uh, to the CSS and then uh, I'm going to copy what I'm going I'm going to copy uh, other pages styling here so let me copy this section mm -hmm. let me copy this part and then I do what duplicate shift then I done key or, uh, uh, let me copy just copy and then uh, here let me copy and say uh, this is live streaming let me create a comment so let me say live uh, streaming styling styling this is just a comment styling and then uh, let me do it let me just paste it there and then uh, here i'm going to say what i'm going to say let me first of all see mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so class here so class i'm going to give it a different one so let me give it um uh let me give it a live live so class the main class i'm going to give it live and then now uh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, what is so let me save and then now uh, to this css let me change it to uh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so let me give it live let me give it live and then now uh, what else here i'm going to change it to live live so let me change it to live and then uh, let me save and then i uh, see some changes wow guys it's very very big you know it has just picked the portrait something i want us to change the image to be landscape let me give it to this value like let me give it a hundred width width let me give it a hundred and then uh, here let me give it something like uh 250 250 height so let me save and then i see some changes uh guys this is you know uh, i like this uh mm, styling and so guys i uh, you can see it, it is you know good but uh, now this section is not perfect so what i'm going to do now is to add the margin left property here so let me go to my text editor guys and then now uh, where here at the card let me add the margin left property so margin margin left I'm going to give it what I'm going to let me give it 25 pixel 25 pixel and then I uh, let me save and see some changes and then I uh, guess I think this is perfect so oh here I forgot to change the name here so here it should be the live streaming so uh, hmm. uh let me go to my HTML to the live page here and then now uh, here I'm going to give it a different uh, name like follow let me say follow follow our 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 live live streaming pages follow our live streaming um uh, follow our live streaming pages all right let me follow our live streaming oh okay, okay. follow our live uh, coverage coverage uh, on events on events on events and then uh, here the text after first of all let me say now to my css and this section for rafter why is it to the here after so let me just uh, copy this part and uh, let me just uh, copy this section copy and then uh, here where uh, here let me just uh, paste and uh, paste it there and then uh, here i'm going to change it to uh this is uh, live i guess let me give it live dot live dot live 
dot live and then uh, I'm going to change it to uh, let me say live stream live stream live stream so here it should be live and then uh, what I forgot to get is, uh, is to also change to the live section so here class I'm going to give it to at let me give it live not nature let me give it live and then I do it let me save and then I uh, hope everything is okay so let me now go to my uh, browser <coughs> and then I uh, guess you can see we have the live section here so uh, now what next guys is to style this section and so I'm going to begin with the p tag so let me just uh, copy this section live card and then uh, tag it in the uh, the h uh, h h True H2 H3, I guess. Let me see. Uh, it is this text is H3. So now take it in the H3. So H3. Uh, uh, open and close the card dresses, and then I'm going to give it a. Uh, uh, let me give it a font size. Font size, I'm going to give it. Um, let me give it that 5 pixel. And then what else? I'm going to give it a. Uh, uh, Font weight. Font weight. I'm going to give it 600. So let me save first of all, and, and also perhaps let me add the padding. So padding. Padding. I'm going to give it 10 pixel all round. So actually, let me give it a zero. Actually, it should be here 10 pixel, the top and bottom, and then a zero left and right. So okay, so let me save and then I see some changes. <coughs> and then I guess this is you know uh somehow good. So I guess I want us to sign this uh button, this button. So what I do is a symbol and I'll do my text editor. I do my text editor I guess now I'm targeting what? I'm targeting the but uh, let me just uh, duplicate this section and uh, shift all to then down key. But now here I'm targeting the anger tag. Uh, it's is it BTN that uh, BTN BTN actually that BTN. Let me check the class name. I guess yeah, it's BTN BTN. Uh, but now targeting at. Let me give it a. Uh, hmm. Let me give it a. Uh, you know. Uh, let me give it what. Let me change, but now tag it in the anger tag, right? Change it to A. Let me give it A. Now tag it in specifically for anger tag. Yeah, I think that this is perfect. And then I guess now is to target the text and everything. So, um, what I do now is to change the color. So, color. Color, I'm going to give it uh, white. White. And so, uh, what is guess uh, uh, the text the h the the paragraph the paragraph we need to say it again so here uh, let me just say let me change to p tag now tag it in the p tag then i'm going to give it a um, padding of uh, 10 pixel 10 pixel and then a font size font size I'm going to give it to uh, at least 18 18 uh, pixel <coughs> and then I uh, do it uh, let me save and then I see the changes um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, still the 10 pixels is uh, very very small so let me give it something like uh, 20 20 pixels the body so let me just say uh, mm -hmm. Let me give it a uh, 20 pixel. What is it? Padding. Uh -huh. Padding, padding, padding. Okay, uh, tag it in the P tag. So P tag padding, I'm going to give it 20, 20 pixel. Uh, 20 pixel. This one. So let me see. And then uh, uh, this is perfect. This is, uh, you know, perfect. But uh, now, let me remove the padding left and right so i'm going to say what i'm going to change it this is top and bottom but now left and right let me give it what zero 
so let me say and I uh, guess this is you know uh, very very awesome and now for these buttons let me do it let me create a uh, padding for it you know some padding for right and left so padding right and left and, mm -hmm, I'm going to say what for the beating so padding uh, padding I'm going to give it uh, by the way guys uh -huh, padding I'm going to give it what so padding uh, top and bottom 10 pixel uh, 10 pixel and then the uh, left and right I'm going to give it something like uh, even let me try that pixel that <coughs> and that pixel so let me save and then I uh, see what yeah I think that is perfect and then I uh, guys uh, let me add uh, an arrow that you know this arrow so I don't know where is it let me just go to the internet and then search for HTML HTML symbols uh, symbols entities and uh, uh, codes so and then now to the arrow section <coughs> let me copy this one this HTML code and then I do it let me first of all clear this section and then I do it let me just you know um, to my HTML to my HTML guys uh, and then now to the uh, no so now to every every section here I'm going to add the code also Facebook I want to add and then also to Twitter and so let me save and then I see and then now guys you can see that it is you know um, this is uh, very very good and so guys uh, what next guys uh, what I'm going to do now next is to uh, is to add the hover effect on this button so what I'm going to do now guys uh, let me go to my text editor and then now uh, where 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 to the button to the btm here let me copy this section copy and then I'll paste it down here tag it now when you hover uh, when you hover so when you hover I'm going to give it to it open and close the color braces and then I'm going to give it a background background I'm going to give it none and then uh, border border I'm going to give it a uh, 2 pixel solid red a red and then a, a color color I'm going to change it to red to red and then uh, what else I'm going to add the transition here transition transition let me give it all uh, 0 0.4 second is is so let me save and then I see some changes guess when I have <coughs> So guys, you can see when I have a, uh, it is, you know, very, very perfect. And then I don't want this section to be very short. Perhaps let me add the, that Karazu, uh, you know, uh, this section at the bottom here. So what I'm going to do, guys, is very simple. I'll go to the live, uh, to the uh, index.html. And then I'll copy what? Copy the Karazu. This uh, section. Mm. A featured section. Let me copy this featured section. Uh, where does it end? Let me hope it ends here. So let me just uh, copy and then add to the live page. <coughs> let me do it. Uh, hmm, let me just uh, paste it down here and then uh, let me save and then I uh, see some changes. And then now, uh, guys, you can see this, you know, very, very uh, beautiful, very awesome, guys, you know, just very, very awesome. And so, guys, I think uh, this uh, live streaming page is now complete, guys. Uh, there you can see it, it's very, very uh, awesome. Uh, it's very, very awesome. I think it's now complete. So, guys, I want us to create also the uh, the about page. Uh, you can see now, now it's not functioning. So, let's go to our text editor, guys. And then again, uh, I'm going to do it. I'm going to copy this header section, this home section, and then uh, let me just copy, and then uh, to the about, to the about here, I'm going to paste this header section here, and then uh, again let me copy the footer, 
the footer section so uh, let me just copy let me just uh, copy and then uh, to the about I'm going to do it I'm going to create first of all the space here and then I uh, to paste it here and then I guess uh, there's something that I want us to copy again the services section here so uh, let me copy this part let me just uh, copy this services section let me just uh, copy and then uh, to my about so I'm going to do it I'm going to paste it there here so let me just paste it there and then I guess here I'm going to change it to um, um, let me say get to know us get to know it was name name something name 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 media get to know name media get to know name media and then uh, hmm. so first of all let me save and see uh, the changes <coughs> in the browser so let me now go to the about to the about section here <coughs> and then uh, guys you can see uh, get to know name media so uh, guys uh, this image I'm going to uh, resize it further and so what I'm going to do guys is symbol let me just uh, go to my text edit and then I copy this section such section this part so um, to my CSS <coughs> let me go to the services services and then uh, I'm going to do it I'm going to copy what let me copy everything hey <laughs> hey do I copy everything? So what 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 should I do, guys? The image part. So I think the image part is the one that has issues. So let me copy the image. Let me copy the image. Let me just copy, and then I do it. Do I why do I paste? Let me use the same section here. Um, hmm, hmm, hmm this section this uh let me create a comment first of all and say uh about about styling styling by the way guys i have not arranged this section very well and the css part I've not arranged too well but now guys uh, let me change it to <coughs> uh hmm. so here is live guys so what uh, this about actually about so what I'm going to do now to uh, let me change to about so let me say about 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 and then uh, uh, mm -hmm. let me just change to about so uh, save and then uh, to the CSS now guys I'm going to change it to to about let me change it to what I'm going to about 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 and then uh, here the width I'm going to change it to give and uh, give it perhaps the the height height I'm going to give it I'm going to give it uh, about something like let me give it 300 and then uh, the width and the width uh, let me give it um, 400 400 let me give it a 400 and then uh, let me first of all see if uh, it's you know affected if it's you know affected in the browser uh guys this is uh, somehow good so i want us to study this section further uh, i want us to study this part so for services um uh targeting now the uh services or what i do guys let me just uh, copy the same uh, to the CSS part of it, uh, to the services section, I'm going to do it. I'm copy to. I'm going to copy this section for. Uh, let me just uh, copy this part. Where up to where? Uh, up to here. Let me just uh, copy. And then I go to uh, this uh, live section. And then I do what? Uh, about starting here. <coughs> let me just paste there. 
and then uh, here I'm going to change it to about about sorry should be about should be about here also about here it should be about also here I'm going to give it what about about and then uh, where else uh, here also about mm, about so let me save and see uh, guys uh, the changes at my text editor and then I uh, guess you can see it is you know not very very good so what next guys is perhaps to make it at least a longer page I'm going to add the same karazoo here at the bottom and so let me go to my text editor and then uh, to the let, let me copy this part, live part mm -hmm. let me copy this live section uh, this featured section actually sorry guys this featured section let me copy and then uh, to the about the, the about let me just do it let me just press it here and then I uh, save and then I uh, open the browser and then now uh, guys you can see uh, it is you know very very good in some case I, I forgot to change this name I forgot to change uh, the name to the about so what I'm going to do is uh, let me go to the same text editor and then uh, where uh -huh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. is it this about it is yeah, about then I'm going to change something where is it uh, here I'm going to change uh, 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 let me say get let me say get get to get to know get to know us now get to know your professional get to know uh, let me say get to know photographers now photographers get to know photographers now so let me save and then now uh, i think you uh, guys uh, this is perfect this is good now and so guys i want us now to go to the contact section i want us to go to the contact uh, contact page here and style you can see guys that uh, when you click on it it is blank it will be blank white because we haven't styled it yet so guys i want us to style it and so let me do it let me copy the same header okay. so let me copy the same header so guys it's always good to use comments they make your work very very easy to know the uh, places where you have written your codes so let me just uh, paste it there and then uh, save and then I uh, do what again copy the footer <coughs> the footer part here yeah, here it is and then I uh, do what copy and then uh, uh just paste it there so and then i'll do it let me save and then i uh, guess i want us to copy let me copy also this services section um let me copy this uh section here let me copy and then uh, to the conduct and then uh, perhaps let me change and make it uh something like conduct so here let me say conduct in the comments so let me say conduct conduct and by the way uh, here let me say uh, here let me say what let me say about so that it may not uh, affect us in future when we will be needing to change something to edit so let me say and then I uh, guess and then I uh, guess you can see it is uh, very very good but now guys i want us to change and perhaps in this section guys, uh, we are going to add the text and everything and they are here in this other section we are going to give us to give it what i'm going to give it uh, the map google map here some text for you know conductors and then i uh, you know the map and then uh, here at the bottom i shall add what uh, the form google form uh, the form so now what i'm going to do guys is to change this something this uh, section and then uh, this featured featured stuff here so uh, let's go to our text editor guys and then begin changing uh, everything 
And so guys, here are the title. Let me give it what? Let me say it gets to a uh, uh, Title, this is the contact page. So, our uh, contact. Uh, contact uh, name what? Name media mm, professional photographers. A photographer. Let me say photographers. Photographers. They are photographers. And then now uh, this day, and then I uh, hear the uh, title. Let me say what? Uh, let me say contact. Contact name name media a professional team professional what professional team team and then uh, first of all let me save and see if it's or oh, before you go anywhere guess uh, let me copy for after so let me copy the after here this part let me just copy and then uh, where, where are we so now we are starting the contact so let me create a comment and then I'll say let me say conduct conduct page stay in conduct page stay in and then uh, for after I'm going to say what I'm going to uh, before that uh, let me ensure that I've changed here too um, uh, yes I should have changed to I should have changed to what to to what to conduct here yeah, conduct conduct to conduct and then uh, let me say and then uh, to the CSS case now I'm going to say dot conduct dot what dot conduct uh, dot conduct and then uh, here I'm going to say what I'm going to change it and I make it uh, conduct us now conduct uh, conduct us conduct us so what I do is uh, let me do it let me save and then I see the changes in the browser uh, and then I uh, guess you can see it is you know uh, good it's, it's good so guys uh, what I'm going to do now next is to add in uh, some text here and then add the map here the Google map so what I'm going to do now is to get the map I'm going to the uh, here to the Google Maps, so just search Google Maps. Or uh, let me say Maps. Maps the to Google Maps Google. So let me copy the uh, go to this page and then uh, go to the Maps page. And click on this first link. And then I uh, search your location. So like uh, for me, uh, I live here. The Loretto. Loretto. Uh, sorry, guys. Should be lo should be Loretto, Nairobi, Loretto Springs, Loretto Springs, and then I uh, do it. Let me mm, copy what. Let me copy the. Let me click. You just click on this here, and then I uh, embed the map, and then I uh, copy HTML. So now, guys, uh, to our text editor, and now to the contact page. So in this other section, this uh, right part, I'm going to do it to remove here, and then I do it. Press the embed the uh, iframe here, and then uh, so uh, and then also in this left hand side, let me do it. Let me uh, create the H3. So let me create H3. H3, and then uh, let me say, <coughs> let me say. Uh, let me say what 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 are the let me begin with the address so let me say location location address location address location address and then I'm going to give it what <coughs> uh, location address and then here I'm going to or let me create it in a div let me create a div for it <coughs> so let me say dot address dot address address and so inside it guys I'm going to do what I'm going to say uh, let me say what uh, let me create my h3 inside it 
and then inside this h3 i'm going to say um hmm, location address location or right, let me just say address address and also i'm going to create a you know the the number the the address itself so let me just say what let me say um let me use h3 uh, actually p tag and then i'm going to say what i'm going to say let me say <coughs> let me say uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. let me say uh <coughs> let me say nairobi or uh, let me just say nairobi kenya there's no need to complicate things so let me say nairobi nairobi kenya nairobi kenya and then uh, what i do guys uh, let me just uh, duplicate this section shift alt then down key and then uh, perhaps let me say email uh, here just let me just change and say email email and then uh, let me add my email here <coughs> if you want to reach me you can reach me through this email admin 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 at nametech admin at nametech.com nametech.com and then now uh, what is this uh let, us, let me say call us 24 7 24 24 times 7 so so 24 times 7 uh, this 14 should be 24 7 20, 24 times 7 and then uh, let me add my number here <coughs> and let me add my number so what do i do let me add the number which is 25 of 47 47 zero 07 and actually zero 07 and the 6 79 at uh, 28 is 28 and then i guess for before anything guys uh, let me save and see uh, the changes in the browser <coughs> uh what i do let me clear now this part this page let me remove this section now we are done with it and then uh, guys you can see uh we need to start it together so that it may be no pleasing so for this section i'm going to do it i'm going to add the border radius for the map and then uh, here i'm going to increase what everything here the size and everything so uh let me do it let me let me begin straight away let me increase the uh, first of all create the party so first of all let me co copy the uh the class you know actually the the selector which is iframe and then to the css uh, i'm going to say what let me just paste it there iframe then open and close the curly brackets and then uh, let me add the border radius so border radius i'm going to give it 10 pixels so that it may not be that sharp 10 pixels and then uh guys what is i'm going to copy now this section for uh let me copy now the address part so it is uh conduct uh max width and then address left and then address so mm -hmm. to my css it should be in the css so let me do this uh let me say what <laughs> let me say dot dot uh contact dot contact dot uh, max with max with dot what card i guess card yeah card now dot card dot card and then i uh, now target not the left property left dot left i should begin with the dot dot left uh dot left actually should be left dot left and then i'll target in what target in the address now dot address and dot address so uh, actually sorry guys so let me create um so the first thing that i'm going to give it is a uh, um <coughs> so do i create a background for it so first of all let me create a background background i'm going to give it what 
background I'm going to give it uh, light gray. Let me give it light gray. Light gray. <coughs> light uh, gray. Light gray. And then I'm going to add a padding. <coughs> padding I'm going to give it a. Uh, I take ten what? Let me give it a ten. Ten pits. A uh, padding I'm going to give it what? Let me give it twenty. Twenty uh, pixel. Pixel. And then uh, what? Padding twenty pixel. And then uh, uh, color. So the text color should be what? Color should be black, I get white. So color, color should be uh, white. Uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. Color, or let me give it a different color like red. Let me give it red. So uh, what I do, let me save, save and see the changes. Uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. So let me create margin for it. So margin. I'm going to give it what? Let me create margin. Margin. <coughs> I'm going to give it a uh, margin bottom. Should we use margin bottom? Margin bottom. I'm going to give it. Uh, perhaps let me give it a uh, ten pixel. Ten pixel. And then uh, let me save. And then I uh, guess you can see it is you know good. But uh, I forgot, I, I thought that I've added the radius. So let me add the border radius. So uh, let me add the border radius. Mm -hmm. Let me add border, a uh, border radius. I'm going to give it what? Let me give it uh, 10 pixel. And 10 pixel. And then I guess uh, let's now target in the, the P tag. So let me copy. And then I paste down here. <coughs> now take it in what the is it H2 or H3? H3 yeah. So let me now target the H3. Open and close the curly braces, and then I'm going to say what I'm going to give it. Mm -hmm. Let me give it a uh, what? Let me give it uh, something like. Uh, so. Uh, I'm going to give it a color. So H3, the color should be red. So I'm going to increase the font size. So font size, I'm going to give it font size. I'm going to give it perhaps 30 pixel. 30 pixel. And then now uh, font weight. Font weight, I'm going to give it five, 600. And then uh, let me save. And then uh, perhaps let me... Uh, also style the the p tag uh is it p tag yeah is it p tag here color color i'm going to give it black so color i'm going to give it black let me give it black and then uh size size i'm going to give it um 18 pixel so let me save let me save our guys and see some changes um this is you know very very uh good uh this is a perfect or uh, let me try to increase the font size here and i uh, give it something like let me oh hey it should be 20 i forgot to add and and i added two pixels <coughs> in some case uh here it should be 18 pixels so let me save and then uh see what and then I guess this is uh, perfect for me in case I think this is good for me. Or what I do? <laughs> Let me try to increase the the length here, the width. So width. Why is it so here? Let me add the width. Sorry. Uh, so let me give it a width of. Uh, width of uh, let me try to give it 200 200 pixel so let me save and see mm -hmm. no let me give it something like 500 500 so let me save and then i see what um i think or uh, let me give it uh 400 
let me give it a 400 and let me give it a 400 and then uh, where a text align to be standard so text align or align items align items standard so let me try in 7 see the changes mm -hmm. I think I base this is you know good mm, this is perfect for me so what next guys I want us to create the form here at the bottom I want us to create the form so to create the form guys uh, let's go to our HTML <coughs> uh, to our HTML and then uh, here at the bottom let me say not really at the bottom just at the end of this uh, oh yeah let me just create a section and say let me say uh, form form mm -hmm. oh, yeah, yeah let me say form and then I do it let me copy this section let me copy this section copy and then I do it let me just paste it here but now I'm going to remove what I'm going to remove uh, this from this card here this card section I can see I guess let me just uh, remove this section and then now uh, here I'm going to say what I'm going to create a form so write form ash because I've not teach you the back end of this uh, website on web development and so guys uh, the first thing that I'm going to begin with is the input uh, input I'm going to give it the type is text and then a placeholder placeholder I'm going to give it what a placeholder I'm going to give it um a uh, first name first name first name so I did the placeholder and then I'm going to make it uh, required required and so what I'm going to do now is to duplicate this section one two and then uh, here I'm going to change it to uh, here yeah, it's text still but now here I'm going to change it to the last name the last last name and then uh, here also I'm going to create also another one for um, I'm going to create another one for uh, you know text area so let me say text area uh, text area and then uh, remove this ID and name I don't need it now and then uh, here I'm going to create a placeholder <coughs> so just, just write a placeholder placeholder and then I'm going to give it what um, a describe let me say describe describe uh, the project the project describe the project and then uh, what is I want us to create the <coughs> I want us to create the submit button so I'm going to use the uh, button do I use should I use the button let me use the button or uh, let me use input 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 yeah let me just use input input and then I type here I'm going to give it what I'm going to give it um input type I'm going to give it uh what input type I'm going to give it submit type I'm going to give it submit I'm going to give it submit a uh, submit and then a value value I give it what so value I'm going to give it submit so the value is submit and then uh, guys uh, first of all let me save and see uh, the changes in the browser oh by the guys are here mm. uh, let me say uh, let me say uh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. let me say messages message us Yeah, or uh, yeah, less uh, messages, and then I uh, hear perhaps let me say sent message to be you know, good. Let me say sent message, sent message, 
and then uh, what else guys uh, so here let me make it required uh, the text data so required required and by the way guys uh, let me also add for email or uh, what i do guys uh, let me uh, enter your full name so here let me say full names okay full names and then uh, here i'm going to change it to email email address or email and then uh, here uh, let me say place order enter your email enter your your what email enter your email and then uh, do what i do so let me what i do guys uh, let me just uh, uh, clear this section cut and then uh, let me create a deal and then uh, let me paste it inside it and then uh, here let me also cut let me cut and then uh, create a deal and then uh, let me paste it here and then uh, for this text area too uh, mm -hmm. i'm going to cut and then i uh, create a deal and then uh, let me do it let me just paste it there uh, hmm. so uh hey let me arrange this item to be in the same color also here guys i'm going to do it i'm going to cut and then i create a view and then do it just paste it there and then uh, let me save <coughs> and then uh guys let's see <coughs> and then now guys you can see it is displaying in a block format uh this is perfect so guys i want us to style this section here so you can see this box is, is not good so i want us to style this section begin with this uh, part so uh -huh. let me go here to my to my text editor and then now uh, targeting the input so we have card here no we just have max width so let me just do it I just paste it there and then I remove this card then I add what form <coughs> add form and then uh, uh, perhaps let me make a background for it so background background color I'm going to give it uh, which color let me give it uh, which color is good let me give it any color <laughs> Let me give it the ivory and then I'll do it <coughs> and a padding for it. So padding. Padding I'm going to give it a 20 pixel. Uh, yeah, let me give it a 20 pixel. 20 pixel uh, and then a width. Width I'm going to give it I'm going to give it a uh, let me give it 80%. Uh, 80%. Eighty percent, eighty percent, and then uh, do what? Also, let me add the border radius. <coughs> border radius. I'm going to give it what? Let me give it a uh, ten pixel color to something like a uh, gray. Let me give it a uh, gray, 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 gray. Let me give it gray. So let me just give it one hundred percent. 100 percent let me save and see yeah guys i think that is perfect so now guys i want us to start this section here now targeting the input here uh, the input would stop here so uh, let's go to our text editor and then uh, let me copy this section let me copy and then i paste down here but now we are targeting at the input the input remember here the input we are targeting the, this stuff so this input so uh, open and close the curly bracket and uh, the first thing that i'm going to give it i'm going to give it a height height should be just you know uh 100 let me give it 100 percent the width width also width let me give it 100 percent 100 percent and then uh, what else i'm going to give it a um, border 
So about I'm going to give it uh, one one pixel solid a solid solid then I'm going to give it let me give it the uh, light gray light gray light gray let me give it light gray and then now what is let me add the border radius so border border radius I'll give it to what let me give it six pixel six uh, pixel and then uh, what else I'm going to give it uh, outline outline to be none outline to be none and then uh, uh, the other property that I'm going to give it I'm going to give it a padding I want to create a padding inside it so padding I'm going to give it a top and bottom I'm going to give it a zero zero and then uh, left and right I'm going to give it a 15 uh, pixel 15 pixel so 15 uh, pixel a uh, 15 you know, pixel and then uh, do it uh, pixel and then uh, let me say font size increase the font size so font size font size I'm going to give it let me give it uh, 18 18 pixel and then uh, hmm, margin bottom I'm going to give it uh, let me give it 10 pixel so that we have some space there so uh, let me see yeah I guess I think this is uh, good so uh, also padding top padding top guys I should have given it something like so instead of zero let me give it something like uh, six pixel let me give it a uh, six uh, pixel yeah guys so I guess uh, this is perfect so let me see yeah this is uh, good this is perfect very very perfect so guys I want us to say this uh, text area stuff you can see guys it's not good so uh, what I do let me now go to my text editor and then I'll target in the uh, text area so let me just copy this part and then I do it paste down here and then I do what now targeting instead of input it is um, text area text area uh, the first thing that I'm going to give it is the uh, <laughs> but uh, what I do guys uh, let me just uh, copy this section copy and then I do what let me just paste it here and then I'm going to add uh, another property here for resize you can see when you resize uh, I don't know the resize thing so it says I'm going to give it none and then uh, what else is not needed here uh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. first of all let me save and see the changes guys and then uh, guys you can see it is you know very very good I think that uh, this page is now complete guys and so I think that uh, this website is now complete on this uh, larger display uh, larger screen so I want us to go to the home section you can click this icon it will take you to the home section we can use this home section so guys I can see the home section is still perfect very very awesome uh, very perfect and then I uh, do also the f yeah this is perfect and then also the gallery section mm, you can see guys it's you know good it is good still perfect and then uh, uh -huh, let's view again this uh, gallery section so the portrait section is just you know good very very good and then what is uh, the live streaming section it's working for our live coverage now and then I uh, guess you can see it's very very awesome uh, very very awesome and then uh, we have the about page So to the about page, guys, you can see it is very very good, uh, and also to the contact us page. So it is, you know. And so now, uh, guys, uh, if you find that uh, the video has been of help to you, uh, please support me by subscribing, and also like uh, the video. I appreciate very very much. That is to support the channel. So guys, I uh, thank you so much, and I'll uh, see you in the next project.